Good evening, gamers. We're here for the, the, the awards. They're tonight. I got my fit on. I got my outfit ready. I'm ready to game and watch some awards. But I'm, I'm actually here to play Binding of Isaac. This isn't Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna play Binding of Isaac for a little bit because we got like an hour before the, uh, the official game awards start. So if you're watching the VOD, just skip ahead an hour. We'll get to the awards when they're there. But hello, everybody. I got my, dude, I got my freaking gamer outfit on. I got my non-graphic tee blazer. I was gonna wear a full like suit and tie today, but then I, I watched last year's Game Awards and I forgot gamers don't wear like suits and ties. They wear blazers with like a t-shirt underneath, which is just so, I don't know. I don't like the look. I, I was, I would, I was legitimately dressed up and I had like my suit and tie on and then I looked at myself in the camera. I'm like, I look fucking weird. <laughs> and then I, I verified that I did look weird at the, on the Game Awards stream. What a fancy fella. You gotta dress up. It's the gamers night. I feel like it's my one night of the year I'm allowed to dress up, right? The night of gamers. But I want to do a, a quick run of the old Isaac because, uh, we got an hour before uh, this starts. I think it starts at like 7.30. It's 6.40. I could speed run something potentially, but who knows? So dashing. I'm dashing. Bill Clinton type fit, yeah. It's really the Kojima fit. Bill Clinton, my favorite rabbi. <laughs> Why is Flim dressed as a hit? I should have shaved my head for this. I could have been Hitman. I could have come in. I should have. Oh, this, this doesn't look good. Sup? Bah! You're dead. You're hit man. Do you guys know is proper etiquette when you have like a jacket like this? You're supposed to unbutton the button when you sit down. I didn't realize that for like years. But uh, let me pop into this here video game. How do I? Um, who do we want to play as? Who's zany? I could get crazy. We could do Tainted Eden, so I don't have to care. Um, Poop Baby? Poop Baby sucks. Delirium? Let's get Delirium. Let's do it. Let's do it right here, gamers. Because tonight... I'm not, I'm not gonna get any awards, but I can get an achievement in Binding of Isaac before the awards. But how's everybody doing? How is, uh, everybody's Thursday been? It's Thursday, right? I just made the best dinner ever. It was broccoli, pork chops, and white rice. <laughs> it was so generic, but it was damn good. I made some good ass pork. Pork is so good. I really like it. What an interesting conversation. Um, do I have to explain Tainted Forgotten to anybody that, that cares about Isaac? I'm, I'm a little floaty dude, but I have my skeleton friend and I can throw him at people. That's the whole character. It's probably my favorite character in the game. Feels like I'm walking, walking on sunshine. sunshine. Pizza Tower is going to win? I would say so. I think Pizza Tower has uh, best debut indie in the bag. Cause I, I re I'm gonna be like actually upset if Cocoon wins best debut indie. I might be a little upset, cause I don't consider it. A, like it's, it's hard to consider that a debut indie because it was made by the guy who made Inside and, uh, Limbo. So I'm kind of confused why that's considered debut. I get that the studio is new, but like, they're not new. I don't know. <laughs> If Genshin Impact wins, I swear to God, uh, it'll probably win the Player's Choice one. There's a reason it's still on that list. It's because, like, millions of bots are voting for it. Although, oh, the Onk? I don't know, man. Take it. Whatever. Steam sale? I'm taking the Steam sale. That's big, dude. Bet I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm not. I'm woke for gamers. I am... Awake. I have caffeine at 6.30 p.m. that I shouldn't be drinking, but 
Mm. I'm juiced, man. I'm just excited that there's like, I don't know. Should I predict what we're going to see? I'm predicting. Here we go. <laughs> Why did I like ask for permission? Guys, is, is, am I allowed to predict? No, it's my stream. Um, we're going to see The Hex 2 by Daniel Mullins or Pony Island 2. I'm actually, Pony Island 2 could be a possibility and it would be maybe the coolest coincidence ever. I'm calling it. We are seeing Pony Island 2. Mugenics announcement? I don't think that's going to be a... I don't think that would be a Game Awards thing. Edmund's been hyping that up all the, all the time on Twitter, though. I'm so excited for Mugenics. He said he said the to 100% it is, like, roughly the same uh, amount of time that it would take to do, like, regular... regular Isaac plus Afterbirth, I think. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> we do got a chance at Titan Fall 3. That's true. That one, that one would make me play Titan Fall 2 finally. <laughs> you know what Steam keeps telling me to do? Steam keeps recommending me to play Ultra Kill, Titan Fall 2, uh, Omori, and like super hot two different times. It's really weird. But um, what was I doing? I was predicting. We're, we're also going to see Monster Hunter 6 is getting announced. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. But they're, Capcom is cooking something, and it's coming out by March next year. So they got to, like, announce it. Oh, the belt. That'll be good for the speed run. Maybe a trailer for Cuphead 2. I don't think so. That would be ambitious. Though they are? You, I think you do bring up a good point, though. Studio MDHR... Didn't they say they were, like, working on another game? They got a new game director. It's the, like, guy who did Ori. So I'm curious to see what else they'll do. I screwed myself. Oh, no. Wait, I can cheat on this character. I can go through doors that I shouldn't be able to. And I get the freaking ceremonial robes. I'm evil. <laughs> Give me a key? Give me a key. Give me a key. No, that's money. Give me a key. Please. Please, just a key. Okay, you die. Oh, baby! Are they working on a new series for Netflix? Maybe, I'm not sure. Jumper cables. Killing 15 enemies adds one charge to the active item. I don't have an active item, so... Whoops. <laughs> Imagine an isometric RPG with their art style. I think that'd be pretty solid. I'm bad. Whatever. Other predictions. Um, not blood rights. No one wants blood rights. Uh, there were. I had another thing I was gonna talk about. I can't remember. But now that you mentioned Titanfall three, I feel like that's gonna show up. Something. Do you think the Celeste game is gonna show up? I forget what it was called. The the Celeste devs were making some, like, Terraria-looking thing. I don't know. Oh, speaking of Terraria-likes, we're gonna definitely see at least three trailers for Fortnite. Guaranteed. There will be a Fortnite trailer for Fortnite season whatever. Then there's gonna be a Fortnite Lego trailer. And then there's gonna be another random Fortnite thing. Ooh. Yeah, they're going to put Peter Griffin on the big screen. What the hell does Stud Finder do? 0.5% chance to reveal a crawl space when breaking a rock. What? That sucks. Die. Fortnite dating sim? You know what's kind of crazy, though? I was watching uh, Dan TDM. You, got, you guys may have heard of him. Uh, I was watching him play Lego Fortnite, and it kind of looked fun. It kind of looked like really chill and, and kind of good. I might try it out because I, I didn't realize it's just out. Like, it's just out now. Opens the door to the hush floor regardless of the timer. We win, boys. We're in. 
Dude, we're in. And a dime? Meow, meow, meow. Magic fingers, cool. Can we play with you? Probably. I don't know how Fortnite works, but... Mike Wobski. Wobski. I... I think you could. Because Fortnite at this point is just like Roblox, right? That's what they're turning it into, obviously. Because they're, they're trying to make these games that are just like Roblox games that are just going to keep people logging in forever. And they're trying to like diversify with all these different mini games you can play. But... Yeah, if y'all could join, that'd be easier. It'd honestly be easier than setting up a Minecraft server. And less people would know about it if I played it, like, now. So I wouldn't... We wouldn't have, like, an Ender Dragon situation. Where I just, like, <laughs> start up the Minecraft server and then someone's, like, killed the Ender Dragon after 15 <laughs> minutes or something. Like, cool. That's a, a server-wide change you just enacted there. Very cool. Member card? I'm a member. Dude, send me to the secret shop. <laughs> Worst consumable in Isaac. Definitely Soul of the Forgotten. True. Holy succubus? Huh? huh? We got sucked. Oh, wait. Succubus sucks. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I got the Costco membership card. I'm an executive member now. Oh! Germa jump scare. Pretty. Pretty fly? Bombs are key. What does temporary tattoo do? Clearing a challenge room spawns a chest. No, that's not great. It's meh. Oh! <coughs> Succubus is alright. I thought it was Incubus for a second. Incubus is the one you want. Incubus is like a free, just doubles your damage. It's really good. Succubus is alright, though. It bounces around the room. If you're standing in its little, like, dark aura, you get some stats up. Actually, you get a good chunk of damage, so it's not bad. Ugh. Why are you already in skeleton mode? Whatever, you're dead. Me. We got suck. Oh. <laughs> um. Did you know Timothy Chalamet is going to show up tonight? He's going to talk about Wonka. I don't. Is he British? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if he's British. I think he is, right? Apparently, he's going to give out an award. He's going to be the random celebrity that shows up. No Al Pacino this year, maybe. Dude, if Al comes back out there and he, like, can't read the, the teleprompter again, we're gonna have issues. <laughs> There's, like, a 30-minute pre-show, so this could go on longer. The pre-show usually has stuff. In, in past years, they've had, like, announcements and small trailers that show up. And they even do the, uh... They do the awards that, like, no one cares about. Where's my voice going? They'll hand out awards like, Best Esports Gamer. Goes to Faker! Everyone, shout out to Faker! The movie that everyone needed. Yeah, we needed to know Wonka's tragic backstory. Honestly, I was satisfied with uh, the the backstory in the one with... Uh, God damn it, what's his name? Um, why can't I remember his name? Johnny Depp. The one with Johnny Depp, they went to that house in like the middle of nowhere and you got to see, um, was it Christopher? I want to call him Christopher Lloyd, but it's not Christopher Lloyd. It was the guy who plays Count Dooku was like a dentist in the middle of nowhere and it was Wonka's dad. I like that scene. Where he, he gives him like a, a dental exam and they reunite as father and son. That was the only Wonka backstory I cared about. Monstro's Lung. Oh, I didn't want to take... Wait, is that good? I don't actually know if that was good for me. I think that just reduced my tears and... Oh. Now I can't throw the, the bone zone. Oh, wait. It's actually really good. Ooh. Watch this. I just, like, 
shit out bones now. Blech. Hell yeah. When do we get Minecraft 2 announced? Maybe tonight. I don't know. Is that a dang mind for 11 cents? What a deal. Yara? <laughs> this music kills me. Yara's based. Yara's amazing. Why did that happen? Oh, I dropped the bombs on the skeleton. I'm dumb. Uh, let's do that. I'm really interested to see if, like, Hi-Fi Rush wins anything. I hope it does. I really hope it wins, like, best action game. I don't know why Dead Island 2 is on the list there for that one, but... Whatever. Oh, slam dunk him. <laughs> for three! What game are you most anticipating giving... Given Silk Song is clearly just a collective delusion. I... I got my clown makeup on tonight. I think we're gonna see Silk Song. I think we'll get a, a Silk Song trailer. Jeff's gonna get up there, and for three games in a row, he's gonna go, this is a big premiere, guys. You guys have been wanting to see more of this game. And then on the fourth one, it's gonna be Silk Song. He's gonna get up there and be like, you guys have really been wanting to see that more of this game. Trust me, you're gonna love this trailer. And then it's Silk Song, boom. I think Jeff's been holding Silk Song in his back pocket for like years, waiting for this moment. <laughs> years. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, I don't know. I think we might see it. It's just the fact it wasn't on most anticipated game is like insane to me. That has to be by far the most anticipated game I've ever seen. Like people have been begging for more. Just like anything on it for years. Wow. Give me key. Die. Waiting for Titan to fall three, because that's definitely happening. I mean they were talking wasn't there like some some big near confirmation that they were doing like something with it? The fact they like updated Titanfall 2 and some other ooh. They had some other, like, weird occurrences that drew attention to Titanfall. Die. Oh. Don't be afraid to leave or run early. How do I not suck at Lethal Company? Oh, you, that's the thing. It never stops. You're always bad at it. But, I don't know, just be careful. <laughs> Don't be stupid in it. Binding of Isaac 2? No way. That's not happening. It's Mugenics. Ooh. I get to go to bed? Do you think I have 20 minutes? I don't know. Do you? I have... I have 15 minutes before Hush goes away, and I'm, I'm here for Hush. Actually, no, I have unlimited time. Oh my god! It's a party room. <laughs> Dude, this room's going crazy. What? <laughs> I don't know what all the... Oh, this sucks. This golden bomb is an <laughs> asshole. Dude, what a fun room. Should have yared. That was like an intense slap. <laughs> that was like a real ass slap. I just got Eve's mascara. Dude, why did I not Yara? Holy shit. He's throwing. Spawn seven clusters of random rocks. Hold up. This is genius. Because we have the golden bomb. Oh, no. No. Portal 3? We're going to see Peggle 2 and Portal 3. Peggle 3, sorry. I'll just Yara this. I already wasted my Yara opportunity, but... I got full health. I got... 
Um, the full justice. I could have yared that. Sun. Half Life Alex DLC? Maybe? Half Life Alex Episode 2. Episode 1. That would convince me to finally play it. I've been scared to play it. Because there's, it, it's only downhill when it comes to VR games. Like, that one's the peak. Ooh. Justice. This is a good run. This is going solid. I don't care that this is 11 cents. I'll buy Deep Pockets, and then I'll buy this for 40 cents. Forget me now. I could Yara. I could go back, and I could Yara, but do I need to? I feel like life is good right now, and I don't need to go back in Yara, but I could go back. Oh, wait, no, is it time travel? I don't think it's time travel. I can't remember. I don't think... Forget me now is time travel. I think it just like resets the floor. I have a Yara addiction. You don't understand. I can quit whenever I want. Yara is just like too fun. Jera, Jerry, Jera. Why did I use a bomb? Adoption papers. What the hell are adoption papers for? What does it do? Shops sell familiars for 10 coins. Okay. Isaac? Yeah, for now. Using an active item re-rolls it. Oh. I mean, that would be good with Forget Me Now. But also, I need the blue key. What am I thinking? Eyes on the prize. There was a moon card in there, too. I don't remember where it was, but whatever. Bye. Yo, Gertie! Blech. Take him to the bone zone. Get him! Hell, ooh! Cat of Nine Tails, huge. This might be a run. What do we got here? The body. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't really do much for us. Ba -ba -ba. Hold up. Mind and body? Yeah, I could get soul too. The soul's the one you want, right? It, it has that like push effect that's really handy. Or one of them does. Maybe the mind has that. I can't remember. Ah. Did you know that 1981 was the year that I did not? Thank you for sharing. Okay, someone... Does anyone... What the hell do you do with compost? Compost sucks. I don't think I've ever had a use for it. It, like, just turns stuff into flies, and I don't get that. It just is bad. Ooh. Night light? Uh, Steph Bonds. Oh, yeah. Steph's here. Hello. Soul of Judas. Um, Trinity Shield's cool. Night light is really cool, because I can do this now. Oh, it doesn't work with him very well. Can't wait for the Sonic Frontier Among Us DLC pack. Don't get my hopes up. Don't get me excited. <laughs> I, oh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Sega was saying they're announcing something tonight. I forget what. Well, they haven't specified what. But they were saying... They were announcing, like... Uh, what's the word? It was, like, a new direction. For a new something. And it, it sounded like Sonic. Like, it sounded like it, it matched the, the new direction they're taking Sonic with Sonic Frontiers. But I'm like, you're not announcing a sequel already, guys. It's been like a year. Calm down. Maybe they are, though. Maybe they're maybe Sega's crazy. Sega's unhinged. Can't be stopped. Or it's a Shadow of the Hedgehog remake. You're so right. <laughs> When will you play Danganronpa? I'm scared to play Danganronpa. Well, I've already played Danganronpa, so I wouldn't... 
it'd be weird, right? Huh? Huh? Like, I would already know who killed... <laughs> I know the killer at the beginning. It'd be, like, weird. But it would be really fun. There's stuff that's, like, similar to Danganronpa. I think, like, Ace Attorney would be fun. Ooh. Dang and Rampa. I should just leave. I feel like I've got everything. I just need to beat the, the game at this point. I gotta beat the game before Jeff Keeley shows up. I have him open in another tab, so he's just gonna pop in in like 10 minutes. I gotta go. You wanna play Danganronpa? It'd be a good time. I'll play it after Yakuza. Yakuza. Where are you at? Hold up, let's go in here. Swarm Protector, nice. This could be a, a good run. I think it has the potential. Steph collab, yeah. I need this. We gotta go to Hush, so it doesn't matter. I'll play it after Yakuza is code for when my bones decay. No, I'll play Yakuza eventually, right? We'll get around to it. We gotta play Yakuza Kiwami, Kiwami 2, Yakuza 3, 4, 5, Dead Souls, whatever that is, uh, Yakuza 6, Song of Life. Can't forget Yakuza 7, um, the one where it's turn-based all of a sudden and it has a different protagonist. And how could we forget? The man who erased his name, like a dragon. And then Yakuza 8's coming out soon? Or maybe it's already out, I don't know, man. <laughs> there's too many, there's too many Yakuza games. But yeah, I gotta play the, the first one eventually. The Sun. You're saying it with the guys, what one... Why are you saying it with the... The guys, what one is your favorite? That's what it is. Guys, what one is your favorite? Yakuza 1. Yakuza 2. I just realized by picking up Yuckheart, I've just like... Screwed myself slightly because it doesn't do anything. Yuckheart can't even give me a... Like, it gives you a red heart, but I can't use those because I'm dead. I'm a skeleton, you idiot. Is there a heart rate monitor in this game? Put on the what one is your favorite video? Guys, what well, one is your favorite? This one? Huggy Wuggy Seek, Scary, Scary Blue, Blue, a Zumbo Sauce, Ban Ban, Ban Ban, um, Nab Nab. Um, I forgot his name, the frog dude, and, um, yeah. Yeah. Slow Saline, so Saline. Bambalina, Sting of Lead, I always have it on hand. And Awesome Huggy Wuggy. This is a this me, is but, like, me, I don't want to use it. But and I don't want to use it. And, oh, I mean, um, Kissy Missy, Kill We Really. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Why is it still playing? Two, two. What do you mean, why do I have that on hand? I never got rid of it. I've had it since Ban Ban. Little Brim? Guys, what one is you favorite? The Bible, Sack Head, um, A Pound of Flesh, Soul of Apollyon, spawns 15 random locusts. What is that? I don't, I don't know what this is. Um, I was wondering, what's the recommended amount of dedicated wham to server? Hmm. All right, let's go beat up Hush. Yeah, it's gaming time. Revelations reference? Yeah, there's a couple Bible references in this game. Uh, you might spot them if you're an eagle-eyed viewer. Get 
Get him. I summoned Soul of Apollyon. I don't know what that did. Wait, are those permanent for this room? Oh my god, I should have saved that. Whatever, this is Hush. Hardest boss in the game, sorta. Not really. It's like a bullet hell boss though, it's fun. Wow. Although I'm blocking all the shots, it's kinda cheap. Dude, the mute? I've never heard the this version of the song. Or like this soundtrack version. Oh, speaking of music, I need copyright free music that we can listen to when like Hozier shows up or like someone shows up and like start singing something copyright. Not copyright free. Should I just play Death I Deserve Ioli? Would that be safe? Christmas songs. We could listen to Feliz Navidad again. Feliz Navidad. Dun, 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 dun. It's tis the season. What is going on with all the little hushlings? Why are they wrapped around him? Ah! Am I winning? Everyone talk like you're from 2013. Uh... I don't know how to do that. LOL, Raffle Copter, <laughs> XD. <laughs> I feel like I still talk like I'm from 2013. Ow. Raffle Copter. Everyone was saying Raffle Copter in 2013, right? Speaking of 2013, you know what I did research on today? The dang Frog Fractions ARG. I have I had no idea like how in depth that thing was, but it's kind of crazy. And apparently, you know, it was even crazier. Uh, one of the steps involved going to the library at my my university. It was like really weird. It was really weird reading like the school I went to. It, like going to that library, there's something there. So I kind of. <laughs> It would be cool to visit again and like go to the exact spot where that that happened if I ever like made a video on it. Cuz I know exactly like where it happened. It's kind of interesting. But I thought it was really neat that that like that took place where I went to school. <laughs> also, I'm going to die to hush cuz I'm not paying attention. Ah. Stop. Just wait there. Tara's getting a job, huge. Very cool. 15 minutes for game awards, I'm going as quick as I can. Although I am gonna lose. I don't know how to do damage. Ugh. Did I win? We're good. Okay, hold up. I gotta go down here. Ugh. I hope Flim wins. Yeah, I'm in the running for best gamer. That's why I dressed up tonight. Be sure to vote for me for best gamer. I'll be winning the only gamer award. All right, let's go fight Delirium. Let's go fight Mr. Delirium and lose. My favorite esports coach. I mean, I have the the esports coach fit right now. This is what they all wear, right? Just one of those days. Don't want to wake up. This is going to be tough. Yeah, I don't think it's a possible delirium thing. Unless I can find some healing. I don't think delirium is like very doable. Oh, I'm just going to get out of there. This is not a, a delirium friendly situation. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Janerma.
Can you get a yellow flannel for Undertale? <laughs> Potentially. I could be even cooler. I could bring a gun. I don't own a gun. Why did I go back to this room? This room is hell. I could bring a gun to the Undertale, Undertale yellow stream. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? Would it be tacky to name the first part of that Gundertale? Or should I save that for if I ever make a video on it? Wow. Status effects applied to enemies last twice as long. You know what? Let's take it. Piss flannel? It's not piss. How much time do I have till the Game Awards? Oh shit, Jeff's already live! Waiting for Game Awards. They, Dude, even Jeff's doing a flim late right now. He scheduled his live stream for 7.15. It's 7.16. Where are you, Jeff? You're late. For your own awards. Jeff forgot to hit go live on the awards tonight. Small rock in this economy? Yes. Please. Please. Yeah. Hell yeah. More damage. Jeff's double checking the event security. Smart move by Jeff. Maybe you have to like tab back into it to, to get it to show up. I don't think anything happens till 7.30 though, because there's like a pre-show and then, uh, then the show starts. Imagine the whole live stream is done and they never hit live. <laughs> Just like, I mean, like that happens on YouTube. If you don't have auto start on, if you hit start streaming in OBS, it like won't start the stream until you go to YouTube and hit start stream. You can be like, it can look like on your end, it looks like you're streaming, but you have no way of knowing unless you go to the stream itself. Maybe Jeff went live, but he forgot. He wasn't live. Jeff! Jeff, you're not live! <laughs> like one person in the in the crowd screaming at him. <laughs> Jeff, no! You're not actually live on YouTube. The system's a little weird. Did you click enable auto start? <laughs> Jeff! Die, greed. Yo, why is a quarter of zero quality item? What are you talking about, game? Oh my god. The Bill Clinton kid better make a key appearance. It would be... That'd be an internet redemption if, like, Jeff actually brought that kid on stage... It was like, don't put, don't do what he did. He like brings him up as an example. What if that kid like made amends with uh, <laughs> with Jeff and now they're friends? I don't think so though. That probably wouldn't wouldn't really happen because he was a a bit of a strange one. No one really knows like what that kid's agenda really was. Besides stupid. Yeah, they can squash the beef live. Exactly. Props to Jeff for squashing the beef. But no, Jeff's 100% going to make a comment like, We've upped the security from last year, guys, so uh, don't even try it. Seriously, you'll die. <laughs> we will kill you. Don't even try it. But he's definitely going to mention, like, the up security this year. Or we're going to see, like, they're going to cut to a wide shot and there's, like, 50 security guards, like, lining the front. <laughs> it's gonna be really awkward. Alright, I'm gonna go in the one boss door that's actually Delirium, and we're just gonna lose. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's not. We're good, we're good. There's like six boss doors on this floor, and one of them is the, the main boss. So I'm kind of just gambling. Oh good, the poop. Thank you. Great. I can now poop on command. 
There are snipers at the ready. Yeah, they're trained on his position. But no, they're definitely going to mention, like, the up security this year. I was, I was watching the, the 2022 live stream, and it's a little sad that, like, looking at the YouTube timeline for that, there's one section that just, you know how you have the most replayed sections? The one section is at the very end, and it's everyone replaying that bit where the kid walked on the stage. Like, there's just this massive spike where the kid walked onto the stage. And it's a little sad, because, like, as a game dev, you're like, oh, man, my trailer, no one really replayed that, did they? Damn. Oh, well. All right, 50-50. This one is not Delirium. Hey, we're good. It's just Loki. Oh, he's dead. The jump button? How does this work with... Oh, cool. It, it doesn't. <laughs> I get a jump button with my little man who's dead and he can't move. The bloat. Am I late? No. You're not late. It hasn't started yet. We're waiting for the game awards to start. Okay, Jeff isn't even live on his own stream. Am I crazy? Yeah, it says live at 7.15. I think Jeff's trying to game the system. He's trying to send out those notifications to people early. Or he just forgot he's not live. Ooh. Super bum. Take my stuff, Dark Bomb. Wait, Dark Bomb's actually kind of huge? I just realized? Wait, this is good. This is good. Look at this. What is that? That's not what I wanted. I need... No, stop. Stop. No, it's the damn starter deck. Oh, no. Starter deck's making cards spawn instead of... Uh, instead of hearts that I need. Oh, no. This sucks. Bumbons, have you heard of the Mountain Dew Game Jam reality show thing? No? What the hell's going on? What? I've heard... I haven't heard about that. But I have heard about Mountain Dew's, like, AI campaign they're doing on Twitch right now. It is really funny. They have an AI that'll, like, randomly join your stream and go like, You've been Mountain Dew rated! And everyone hates it. It's so stupid. It's just like a bot that comes into your stream and advertises Mountain Dew out of nowhere for free. Like, you don't even get paid for it. <laughs> it's so dumb. Huh? Um, activates the Bible for 60 seconds. No, that will kill me. I ain't falling for that one, game. I've been around the block. Burger King did that a while ago and got into trouble. Uh-oh. All right, I gotta end this run. This We're about to... The game awards are imminent. Oh my god, I got six minutes, dude. I'm about to enter clickbait. Gives flight for a room? I think it'll kill me, though. If I use it on Delirium, I just die. Whopper, 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 whopper. Oh, no. Alright, this run's not going anywhere. I gotta go find Delirium before Jeff finds me. Are you in here? No. It's, it lives. E. Give me something decent. No, not oh crap. It's Game Awards time. I know, I'm going, I'm going. There he is, it's Delirium. Let me just beat Delirium without getting hit at all. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Move! He turned into a baby, look at stupid! I forget this is like Hotline Miami music. Why are there three tower cards in here? <laughs> oh, baby! Oh! I gotta hurry up. Jeff's gonna go live any second now. We're actually, like, kind of doing all right. Wait, this isn't like an awful delirium run. This is gonna be record time. I'm speed running. I'm cutting it close, man. No! Oh! No, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'm honestly surprised this is going, like, all right. Oh, Jeff's live! Jeff's live! I see it in my other tab. Okay, big damage. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I need to get my thing. Where is, where is anything? When will the game award? Soon, soon, soon. The game award will go to me for beating Delirium as the, the Tainted Forgotten. Oh my God. Am I winning? And I just don't even know what's going on. I hate this fight so much, man. It sucks. I don't know why this fight has existed in this game like for this long. Unchanged. Why is it? Uh! Because it's based? This is not based on anything. It's based on the Bible. This is this happened in the Bible. The chariot. I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't done damage to the boss in like a minute. <laughs> Dude, come on. How did I not die there? Oh, I had a shield, that's why. With the Ankh, do I respawn in the same room? I can't remember. I'm probably dead. Oh! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't see? <laughs> this fight sucks. What even? No, you don't spot in the same room. What is the lemon doing? It's just my face. Oh, well. Wait, I'm the wrong character now. I'm a totally different character now. All right, what, let me see. What, what is Jeff doing? Jeff's beginning in seven seconds. Oh my God, what am I to do? I got business to take care of, Jeff. I'm busy. <laughs> Dude, it's Sydney Goodman. Wait, I gotta. 
I gotta beat this real quick. It's important. She's just talking about the game awards. They're they're coming tonight. She says the game awards will be celebrating the best in gaming. <laughs> I can't hit delirium. This stream is a disaster. <gasps> Dude, I... <laughs> the Game Awards doesn't start for 30 minutes. Oh my word. Wait a second. She's announcing something neat. Hold up. She straight up just said Brother's Tale of Two Sins. Am I insane? Is this a remaster of Brother's A Tale of Two Brothers? <laughs> Whatever the fuck. <laughs> who? Joseph Ferris, the guy who made It Takes Two? There are bonds that can never be broken. It's the remastered version of this. Neat. This game was alright. Where am I? I'm not even on the screen. Is that Isaac? No. Best Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. One second. Experience the soul-stirring thing, brothers. A tale of two brothers. I'm gonna multitask. I'll watch Incredible the Game Awards. And Incredible. Perfect that right after the world premiere of Brothers, we have Fuck. the award for best family game. It's over. These are the games that bring families together okay. or tear them apart, depending on how dirty you play. <laughs> and the nominees are the nominees: Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, Pikmin best 4. Best family game. Sonic Superstars. I'm in the way. And Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, this goes to and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Super Mario Brothers Wonder. What? Oh, Doug. Douglas Bowser's here. Thank you so much for this award. This is shared with all the teams at Nintendo. I'm going to go into the future. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. In my experience, the team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or... I'm going into the family. future. There we go. And for me, my personal experiences, nothing brings a family together more than trying to rescue an, an empire, a, a kingdom in distress Come from on, the Doug. evil likes of Bowser. Whether you're playing, whether you're playing as Elephant Mario, um, Peach, Yoshi, or Nabbit, this game goes to everyone that created such a wonderful experience. Thank you. Doug's all right. He's no Reggie. How is volume, by the way? Is it too loud? Congratulations, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Should I turn and it down? now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. What? Sydney. First up is the you next treat us? game from Daniel Mullins, the creator oh, of the Oh shit, they're TGA pulling this thing out. Pony Island 2. They're pulling it out right now. This is not Pony Island 2. What the fuck is this? He's making the forest. What is man, what is bro cooking? It's Pony Island 2. It's Pony Island 2. Panda Circus, it's Pony Island 2 Panda Circus. I, I swear to God I called it. He did it, the man did it. The man has finally cooked Pony Island 2 Panda Circus, holy shit. Was that, was that Pro ZD? 
It is pro ZD. The Panda Circus is real. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's so funny. I literally in the video like two days ago was like, oh, it's a reference to Pony Island 2 Panda Circus, the game that may or may not come out. I don't know. We'll never know. <laughs> Oops. Well, damn. What a great... I gotta make a... Do I have to make a frame-by-frame -frame reaction video? Now what do we do? We just got Pony Island 2 Panda Circus. That was not insider info. Wasn't expecting that right away. Me neither. Dude, I can't believe it. That's crazy. Do I have to make a twitter.com? Post? I'm gonna live tweet the Game Awards. No, I'm not. I'm not talented enough to do that. I gotta pay attention to the... The awards. I'm looking the wrong way, too. Fixed it. I don't know what this is. Um, I, I want to go back and watch the Pony Island 2 trailer. <laughs> oh, wait, this looks decent. This is the Gunk 2. The Zunk. You can become Matt Pat later. I can't get over the fact that I joked about the fact that, like, we'll never see Pony Island 2. <laughs> That's so funny to me. You're too late, June. It is Echo! Usual June! It was Girl Echo. 2025. I have already forgotten that game existed. Remind me in a year. Reminds me of my high school days, but the monsters I fought weren't nearly as big as that. You kids Sydney, these days with your giant monsters you on social me media. Up. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across 50 plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating gaming creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. I will be sharing okay, on TikTok. We're going to take a quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after a very important message. Don't skip this cutscene, people. Don't call it a cutscene. The journey ended here. A place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil. This is Warframe. And reached a new planet. Yet generations later. I want to go. This world remains untamed. This is Genshin. Our is foretold. Our paths. Cat girl, it's Genshin. It literally looked like a Destiny 2 cutscene until an anime cat girl showed up. I thought it was Destiny 2 or Warframe and then a cat girl. Oh, we're lagging. I went too far into the future. What is this? This is like Nike or whatever, the one where they have big boobs or Honkai Stale Star Rail. Damn, she Star Railed it. Crazy. Ark and they they gave me like half. A, I didn't even read the title. What was the name of that game? It did like it's gone. <laughs> it was like Ark Knight something. They gave me half a second to read it. They're moving on to the next one. What is this? Sun Shu Ying, stop following you. I'm not paying attention. 
Hello, people. Was anything interesting shown? Uh, no joke. Daniel Mullins just rolled up with Pony Island 2 Panda Circus, which blow blows my mind. That's all so far. But hello, Fluffy Faven. The rogue trader has fallen. Now I must take up their mantle. I'm not even paying to attention to what's on the, the screen. I'm gonna make a joke. Glory. To reclaim what humanity has lost. Boing. To venture forth into darkness and bring the light of the Emperor what to is the this? uncharted This void. is Warhammer... This is Warhammer XCOM game. I don't really care. Dude... <laughs> Look at this. This is so funny to me. <laughs> this is the video I uploaded two days ago. <laughs> the sequel to Pony Island that may or may not be a thing. We'll probably never know. <laughs> I gotta take a screenshot of that. That's funny. <laughs> we'll probably never know. I willed it into existence. Wait, you're Connor Kenway. Good thing for you that I am here then. What the hell is this? Assassin's Creed Today, VR? You Assassin's are Creed to Four? See a traitor to the crowd, hanged by the neck. For his crime, the penalty is death. I'm in search of a treasure. Where do Ooh. I start? Day on the canals with my good friend Ezio. What could be better? Flatter me as always, Antonio. In the end, the Templars will succeed. Whoa. Sorry, I'm typing. Boom. All right, we're done here. Ah, uh, dude, kill him, Ezio. Nice, Assassin's Creed. I'm so checked out of Assassin's Creed. I don't care. Here's a question. Welcome back to the 2023 Game Awards opening act. Is the MetaQuest 3 worth getting? Here with another award, this time for innovation and accessibility. The gaming community is Hi massive, Rush gets this but one. honestly, it should be even bigger. And these nominees are pushing gaming beyond its current limits. Their teams have created software and hardware that make it possible for people of all abilities to experience the medium of gaming with accessible features and technology that get us all one step closer to a seamless play for everyone. These nominees are doing the work, and they are. Diablo they are. 4, Forza Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ooh. Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. Ooh, and they the don't Game say, Award goes to... They don't ever say, like, what they did. Forza Motorsport. What did they do? Did they let you use a steering wheel in the video? I don't know what, like, what were they doing to be accessible? I wish they elaborated a little bit. Thank you so much uh, for this. Um, since this category was introduced several years ago, I think we've seen a dramatic shift in the whole industry towards making games more and more accessible. I didn't know this game even came and out. This list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point... I, I think we've made the most accessible racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. But really, the real winners here are the players who have so many great games. To Wait, play. they. That's crazy. How do you play? I would, I'm genuinely curious. How do you play it if you're like. How did they make None it accessible where if you were blind, you could drive? Behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm, thank how? You to our that's crazy. Team for their tireless effort, championing for accessibility and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team, and our sounds, accessibility yeah. leadership team. And last but not least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do. So thank you the, very the much. The height difference here is, is kind of making me laugh. She looks so small between them two. Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Forza. Here at the Game Awards, we believe strongly in accessibility and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. And our next developer, The Odd Gentleman, believe that by making their games and their company accessible and inclusive, Lethal they can company? develop new types of gameplay with stories that everyone can enjoy. 
They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. Video games. Why do I know the odd gentleman? Did they make something else I knew? Oh! Wait, this looks cute. The animation's so sweet. <laughs> An accessible musical journey. Oh. Wait, she got Pucky Squired. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Look at him go! This looks wacky, but the animation looks really good. It looks very Disney. <laughs> Disney's coming for him. <laughs> this is straight up like a Disney movie. It's like a scrap Disney movie they threw out. And it cuts to title Painted Symphony. Right? That's what it's called, right? Painted Symphony? Harmonium. They already said the name of the game, I forgot. <laughs> that looks cute. Coming to Netflix games. That I don't understand, but Game Pass, pretty cool. Honestly, I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a How do you play games platinum? on Netflix? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. And now <gasps> I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five oh, Sydney, esports you categories. Crack me up. The nominees for best esports athlete. Finally, are Faker. Faker. Zaiwu. Demon One. Come on, Hydra, Demon One. Ruler. Come on, Demon Imperial One. How. And the game award goes to Faker. Damn it. <laughs> the only person. Coach. Oh, the they're just rattling them off. Potter, Zonic, Gunba, Come on, X2Q. X X what is she? XQZ? And the game award goes to... Potter! Potter! Everybody! For best esports event, here are the nominees. Leaks, Worlds hasn't League happened Legends yet. World Championship. Or maybe it has. I haven't been Last paying TV, attention. Paris I don't pay Gager, attention. It's going to go to the international. It always goes to the international. The international Dota 2 Championships 2023. I think Evo and popped off Valorant this year. Champions 2023. And the game award goes to... 2023 League of Legends Notice World how it was always the top option. They were like For really lazy with it. They didn't feel like the shuffling the names. Counter-Strike 2. Dota 2. League of Legends. PUBG Mobile. Not Counter-Strike 2. Valorant. It's going to go to Valorant. And the game award goes to... Because gamers love Valorant. Valorant! Yes! And finally, the nominees for best esports team are... The Gaming Evil Gladiators! Gaming, Fnatic, Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, and Team Vitality. And the game award goes to... JD Gaming! Who is JD? Huge congratulations, everyone. I love esports. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my father. Oh, yeah, name an esport. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid-1800s. But before you can think too hard <laughs> on that, it's time for another two world premieres. Name First an esports, Sydney. the latest game from a team that won at the Game Awards back in 2017. So I think we can trust them to crush it again. This is Windblown. Who? No, wait. Is this the Donkey Kong Country one? I can't remember. Or is this a platform fighter? This is like Rivals of Ether. Or like Brawlhalla? What is it? That guy just died. Oh my god! Oh! Is this brand new? This hasn't been like announced before, right? Oh, this is not a platform fighter. Okay, they made it look like a platform fighter. This is like co-op, uh, I don't know what this reminds me of, like Hades, I guess? But made by Dead Cells people, that's cool. The guy got obliterated, man! Uh-oh. 
He absorbed essence of anteater or aardvark. Is he an axolotl? Very cool. Axolotl representation. Windblown. PC early access 2024. Very cool. Me and my friends will play the shit out of this if it's on Game Pass. That's been like my slogan for gaming lately. It's like, if it's on Game Pass, I'll play the shit out of this. <laughs> also, this is made by the person that made Thumper, which is cool. Thumper was that weird like beetle rhythm game. Meat furry game. This one looks like, I don't know, you get like really high and play it or something. <laughs> this is something you and your friends get like really high and play it. You're like, dude, that was the coolest night I've ever seen. Holy moly. What the hell happened last night? There was like a baby alien. Thrasher. 2024. Yeah, it does look like Beat Saber with yes, Cruelty Squad Thrasher, visuals. Yeah. you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming from him in 2024. Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also throwing a massive Game Awards viewing party over at Samsung's New York City flagship location cool. with typical gamer and Chica. Oh shit, y'all wanna go? Two places at They're once, holding a party in New York, are we going? Clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT Experimental Physics Lab. Oh, she's making a but joke But we again. can talk about that later. Let's check out what Samsung <laughs> is coming out so with now. bad. Her jokes feel so forced. Expand the way you game. Black Nut. Samsung Gaming Hub. No, it's fine. I don't need another gaming hub. I just, I have Steam. It's okay. Oh. Get in the van, guys. We're going to New York. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nope, Persona 3. <laughs> Close enough. Or is this Persona 4? I don't know Personas. Is this 3 or 4? Sewing is my life. Last one! Go for it! Now that's what I'm talking about. Moonwalk! <laughs> This is the, the 3 remake? Oh, cool. I always wanted to get into Persona, I just never have. I watched my friend play 5. It looked fun, but it was like 90 hours, so I was like, whoa. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. That's a tank. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. This is the one with the guns, right? Where they like shoot themselves in the head. Next. Come on. Why do you try to fight when you know it's? Or did they did they retcon that out? In fact. I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives I'm our sorry? lives meaning. Yeah, the Persona games, they would Soon shoot themselves in the head to like come. unleash their Persona. They had like guns. No I don't remember if it was three me, or four where they got rid of it. This is what it means to live. But uh, I think they got rid of it completely, at least in five. Yeah, they would shoot themselves in the head. They didn't like actually die, it's just like triggering their persona or something. Yes, I was hoping for a new persona. A new persona game, that is. I still want to be Sydney. 
But enough about Sydney, me. Sydney, stop. Make sure to stay <laughs> tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular <laughs> celebration of mobile gaming. Sydney's got her 30 minutes up here. She's getting like as many jokes per second here. as she can. It's the product of a surprise team up between two nominated games tonight. Let's check it out. Oh, indie game. Dave the Diver, indie. My favorite indie game. And Dredge. Is this a, co a collab of sorts? Okay, this is neat if it's a... Is it a collab between Dredge and Dave the Diver? And Wizards of Legend or Magicka for some reason? Was that a Magicka crossover? <laughs> is it bad that I honestly thought Dredge and Dave the Diver were the same game? And now that... that could... <laughs> Oops. I can't believe it. It's almost time for our big show. The theater is filling up behind me. It's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement, but I have to keep it together because I have the next award Can ready we focus to go. the camera on Here her? Here are your nominees for content creator of the year. Iron Mouse. People make games. Quackity, Spring. Spring. And Cypher PK. Can we please focus the camera on her face? And the it's game award goes me. to... Iron Mouse. Woo! So Iron Mouse couldn't be here Content tonight. Creator, I, I Iron Mouse. Maybe animated. next year, guys. Exactly. Maybe We're next not year. In the Matrix yet, but she did send us a message. Take it away, Iron oh, I Mouse. I stepped. I stopped. I talked over her I joke. Am Sorry. So incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First, go Iron Mouse. Mouse. I oh, wait, I can do this. I want to express my wait. deepest heartfelt gratitude to the incredible community that has gathered around my streams. And I also yeah. want to extend a very special thanks to Vishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you very so much cool, to Iron my Mouse. team that helps me every single day. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe this is all happening. Thank you again, everybody. <laughs> very cool, Iron Mouse. Very cool. Congratulations, Iron Mouse. Okay, we're getting <laughs> Thank you, so giant close anime to the big show, but I'm not ready to let go just yet. And no, I'm not a narcissist. I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world premieres. And up next is a very special world premiere, 15 years in the making. This is the gold standard. Oh, one day I'll be Iron Mouse. Oh my God, they're making World of Goo again. Or it's a sequel? What a beautiful world. I love World of Goo. I hope I'm getting the name of that right. Yeah, too bad they never did. What if they made World of Goo 2? This game is so much fun. It's like bridge building, but like easier. <laughs> bad. I'm really bad at it. I've always wanted to play their programming games. I think it was like Tomorrow Corp and something else. world of goo we added rtx this time dude they're gonna call it world of two it's not gonna be world of goo 2 it's gonna be world of two did i miss the daniel mullins game you did it was the like, first trailer they showed they're going It looks like the first game. <laughs> I, don't know what to, I don't know what else to say. And then it's gonna cut to Little Inferno 2 as well. They're the same game. There we go, World of Goo 2. Thank you, Sydney. Hey, as satisfying as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one more huge world premiere. A brand I gotta go new fantasy RPG refill my from beverage, the creators Sydney. of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. If this is Persona, I don't care. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. It's Fire like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. 
a final fantasy, if you will. The fool of a king is dead. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become Is this Shin Megami Tensei or is it different? I'm gonna go get a water break. <laughs> you can only blame your king's weakness. Who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! The people of my land desire a new king, and I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne! Small wonder when any among the populace might be king. Their speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing when every day they cheat and abuse us! Gamers! It tells of a world united as one tribe. If only our lives were anything like the world. Wait, is Medora's mask? By tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. There was a plot in his life. Oh, and I wish I'd written them sooner. Is it Shin Megami Tensei, or is it something hope. else? You gave up on your hopes, but I will not. Now let's see what manner of story you'll be. I don't know why I even asked. I literally today? have never you'll be a hero. played anything. Trust me. Metaphor. Ray Fiantasio. <laughs> You missed the best okay, moment. What friends, happened? What did I miss? That is it for our opening act, but we are very far from big done. Chungus. Our big show is what? about to begin, but don't worry. This isn't what did the I last miss? you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby. That's and okay. And I do not wait because Sydney, this you don't show have to come is back. absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. No I way, they admit, got I'm damn out. Gonzo. I'm completely starstruck. And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. They got the dual the flip guy? opening in a huge way tonight. From Spider-Man? Okay. Thank you all for going on this journey with me. You're the best companions a host could ask for. Let's do the boss level. The 2023 Stop. Game Awards starts now. She's trying to suck up all the cringe so like everyone else doesn't suffer as bad. She said boss level. Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Woo! Now, here's Ain't your Gonzo host, the dude from the, the Muppets? Yeah, the Awards, he shows up every Jeff year. Keely. Stay off! Oh wait, I can put on CCs. There you go, some subtitles for y'all. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the There's Game no subtitles. Awards! Blimbon's content created for 24? Tonight yeah. Is our I'll be on the list GTA, next year. A global celebration of video games, and boy, do we have a show for you. I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding Sometimes creative work suck. in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. Incredible. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world. In a secure focus way. On something we can all agree on. There's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Cut to the 50 security guards. They, they, there they are, they're security Great guards. Games, <laughs> they're us, all up there. Help us understand different perspectives on the world and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play, are insanely special, and we're going to celebrate that for the next few hours. <laughs> the men in and black we've got up such there. an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams, and many of them are here <laughs> we're tonight. See Every Mr. time. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning. Oh, shit, Game AG's here. In 2017 here. for Breath of the Wild. AG on new, you know him? One of our industry's greatest creative and technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead system architect, celebrating 25 years of Cerny Wait, Games. Why, stop Thank with the eye. Stop here, looking Mark. at me like that. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers <laughs> here, too. Oh, my God. Is that him? Everyone's here. Did they just cut Winnie to Jürgen McPig? Is our best performance winner in 2017 for Hellblade. Interesting. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. Was that just like an accidental face reveal of him? I don't think we've ever seen his face. Or at least I've never seen it. Riozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year. And a Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. 
Now we yeah, have they had descended from the pizza tower for that. Big show. So let's get right into it. To present tonight's first award is Timothy. last year's winner of best performance. Please join me. Not Christopher Judge. Welcoming back to the Game Awards. Yep, we're gonna do it. The actor behind Kratos. Ha ha ha. The God of War. We gotta make a joke about how his speech Judge. was long. They're gonna make three more jokes about it, how his speech is long. Remember, when, remember, remember that from last year? He made a long speech. See, he 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 did the watch thing. He's like, don't worry, I got it this time, Jeff. <laughs> so funny. And then he goes, I promise I'll keep it short. What a card. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Kratos. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. What's, what's this music? What are we doing? Mother. Oh, are they playing him off already? Cute. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. I'm not going to stand up here making long speeches. I'm going to stick <laughs> to the script. No eight-minute speech like last year. But fun fact, my speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Damn, bro. What? Damn. Fuck you, Call of Duty. <laughs> it cuts to the Call of Duty guy like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> uh, another company I'll never work for. They gave us uh, a year to work on the campaign. It was cut in half. The development I'm time was cut in half. Fuck you. The award <laughs> for best performance in a year of games. <laughs> Beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. <laughs> These actors delivered six Unforgettable. Oh, this is Idris Elba. This is the one Idris wins. Here are the nominees. Best performance. Revenge. Actually, no, Ben Starr deserves this one. This dude's like the most lovable guy ever. Hope may feel beyond our grasp. You play grown up games, you face grown up consequences. Idris Elba! Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? Wake I gotta play Alan Wake too. My name. A star. Okay. I don't need to play Baldur's Gate 3. I'll play it eventually. Ready for your annual physical? We have to talk. Who's this? Who's Spider-Man? the hero here. Mr. Wick. <laughs> Whoever wins. Jeff has given me the okay Oh, it's obviously to say, not Idris. He's not even take here. Take as long as you want to. Thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. And I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> and the award goes to... <laughs> the Idris JPEG. He didn't even show up. Neil Nubar. Oh, this is the... This is the Baldur's Gate guy. <laughs> I'm so out of touch. This is the guy, he did Asterion, right? I've heard this guy is like the best character in the game, right? Woo, Baldur's Gate. Award number one of ten tonight. Baldur's Sweep. Baldur's Gate 3 is a phenomenal game. I've heard. I just, like, don't have the time. Hi. What is he wearing? He's got a whole, like, Padawan-ass robe. This is unreal. I love um, his outfit. I just want to say, I know I don't have much time. Um. <laughs> he looks like a Jedi Knight. Well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. What is thank he wearing? Incredible fellow actors, <laughs> and all these unbelievable talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian. Uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody. Uh, to uh, Pitstop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow actors, 248 incredible actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, to mi familia, gracias para todos. Gracias, saludos, gracias, y Coco también. And Armor. to my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry, I'm going to wrap it up. Apparently. <laughs> Play them off. One thing I will say, please, if that's okay, the community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game Aww. when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And Dude, to you, guy... I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. I appreciate it. 
That's gotta be like the game director for Baldur's Gate. He knew he won game of the year. Oh, he's still talking. That guy with the armor on is gonna win game of the year. And he's, that's why, he, oh my God. He brought the armor. He's gonna make a joke when he gets up to the game of the year award. Cause he knew he won it. He's gonna be like, I brought armor in case someone storms the stage. You know, great speech and short, so thank you. Uh, there are lots I'm calling that joke come, but three hours ahead of time. Ahead to what you'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. And for the honor of presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill to introduce a true Renaissance man. Please welcome Hideo. Academy Award winning actor oh, and Timothy New York Shalami. Times best-selling author, Never mind. Matthew McConaughey. What the fuck? Matthew just looks like he woke up and, hey, what's up, it's me. You guys want to buy a Ford F-150? What, what car does he sell? Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here with you at the Game Awards. Matthew, name a video game, please. And I was going to come out and I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. They said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. Matthew, all right, we'll see how on that, the Xbox that, controller, that, that what's end? the bottom button I'm here button tonight because I have a world green premiere one? for you from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. <laughs> I, I don't think Matthew's played I'm a video game I'm also here tonight ever. because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Is <laughs> he? Yay. Yay. When the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on Right. was when they he shared the game's vision on. and my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. All I can say is that in it turned game, me on. Time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for Matthew, generations just to come. Play, just play the trailer. Now personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. <laughs> and now you can too. I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. He's an actor. Oh, he was the guy in Interstellar. That's why they put him into this, because they're like, oh, he looks good in the space suit, so we we'll do that rock. in this game too. That's him right there on the left. I never seen Interstellar. Is it a good movie? What she found that day was a miracle. It would be our salvation. This is uh the fight against the Celestials. What the hell? Humanity's greatest enemy. This reminds me of what? God damn it! What's the Prometheus? They found us, but they have guns. Come, stay down. The Celestials. Understand. Literally Halo, yeah. I knew they found us. They keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. Is that and Matthew I had McConaughey? To save her. I led them away from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When this you is just Mass Effect. Light speed, time slows to a crawl. Wait, why do they have Mass Effect relays? It was relays? only days for me, but an entire lifetime. Wait, this is just Mass Effect. <laughs> and in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. Damn, that's a cold one to leave him on. I have to go our back. Service, our sacrifice discovers worlds, seeds hope, breaks empires. Do you think we'll get a trailer for the new Mass Effect that's not going to come out for like six travelers. more years? Stop with this music. This looks like Starfield. <laughs> I'm sorry. This definitely looks like every third-person Mass Effect ass game I've ever played. That was what, the Traveler. This is Destiny. 
what is, what, what is that, that is game? That is a very exciting project, giving me some Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate yeah, no the team shit. sharing the first glimpse of gameplay uh, at the end there. Looks great. All right, well, now we're going to go right on to another world premiere. Hey, Hello. It's Dara. Yeah. Hello. That looked like every sci-fi game I've ever seen, ever. Oh, Dead Space, Dead Stranding 2. Death Stranding 2? Dark Souls 4. Uh, Returnal 2. Oh, this guy. No way, Kratos! You are certain you remember nothing of this place? I haven't played any of these, man. Oh, nothing that would help us. I don't... This is just the finale, right? This is the one where Kratos dies. Exactly, are we doing this? Or is this just DLC for Ragnarok? Because like it feels too soon for a full sequel. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's Kratos, you need to do the puzzle. You have to solve the puzzle. This is nothing to me. <laughs> I need to play the original at some point, but I probably will never do it. God of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla. Cool. Kratos! You need to... Oh. This... Oh, free. That's cool. There we go. Neat. I will not play it. There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. Kratos and Mimir Thank you, Jeff. are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with Can't elements to see inspired Death Stinky by the tonight. Oh, for sure. genre for an emotional, unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla, as a gift to the community, and you will be able to download it in just five days on December 12th. I love that he implied anyone that charges for DLC hates their Amazing. fans. All right, switching gears. <laughs> Our <laughs> next you, world charge premiere for comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. I love that this show can give a platform to independent creators. Their last game in 2019 was a sensation and their next project is equally exciting and unexpected. Oh, cool. Wait, we've seen this, haven't we? Didn't we we know that they were making something? No, maybe not. Far Cry 3. <laughs> Far Cry 3 2. What? Title goose game. We made up a title, guys. Ooh, there they are. What? What is this? I oh, love this already. I see them. What is this? It said it was like a multiplayer game. Let's go. If that's how the in-game voice chat works, where your nose goes, that is so cute. Newt, Newt the game. I'm so in. I don't even care what this is. There's a big hole. Uh oh. <laughs> this looks so cute. This is just cute rust. I think it's just rust. <laughs> Big walk. <laughs> it's a strand like game. Super fun, right? I did a play test of that game about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game. Big I'm walk. I got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to tgasteamdeck.com right now. Oh, there's the security. They're walking someone out. Steam Deck giveaway. This time, it's the brand new someone one tried to rush the stage. Steam Deck OLED featuring an HDR OLED display. Enter now only during the live show Big at walk. tgasteamdeck.com for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. 
All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, so awards, many. and musical performances. But first, performances Timothy ahead, Chalamet has to come the out on the stage. Gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. Please don't leave. I need these numbers. Here's the Prince of Persia trailer that no one cares about. Thank I'm you. Here to save a prince. This game didn't look I that great. Know. It looks neat, but not that neat. Um. I'm gonna turn it down. What um? Oh shoot. Do you think we'll see the the Bennett Foddy game here, the one where you you like control the guy's legs? I forget what it was called. Baby Steps, I think. That's supposed to come out next year. We'll probably see a trailer for it. I feel I've walked this path before. Farah, and turn it back on. Right. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. This is the worst trailer ever because they're gonna cut to gameplay and it's just gonna be like the 2D Metroidvania gameplay. Where he's like stabbing a snake. How am I still alive? Hmm. You seem stronger, but you not strong stronger. enough to save a friend yet. All right, here we go. He's stabbing people. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend? Are you courageous enough? I'll do whatever it takes. I, I want to honestly go back and watch the Pony Island 2 trailer. <laughs> I just want to watch that one again. That still blows my mind that we got Pony Island 2. I cannot, I still like can't believe that that exists and is real. Oh, Fortnite trailer number one. I will actually play this. This looks like fun. Lego Fortnite looks really fun. It's it's just Minecraft. I can't listen to this song, can I? That's the way you need it. Any way you, any way you want it. The only thing I don't like about this is that. The like, why don't, can I just play as like a generic Lego man? I don't want to be the bright bomber. I don't, I, well, fish sticks, I'm cool with that. This looks like fun. Especially because it, it, I don't know if it has like tears, tears the kingdom building, but like it implies it does. Like it, it looks. Is this actually Fortnite? It's Roblox Fortnite. They're turning Fortnite into Roblox now, where they're just gonna have like experiences that you can do in Fortnite, which is cool. It implies there's a depth to this. When do I crank 90s in this game? They're really ripping off Minecraft. That's what I like. That was my prediction for this before seeing this trailer. It was like, it's going to be Minecraft with Tears of the Kingdom building. You see that car? And watch, there'll be another clip of it in a second. Uh, I think it has like some sort of building to it like a mechanic that like that you can you get like flying machines i think it just straight up is minecraft with tears of the kingdom like contraptions look it looks cool please welcome a former game award winner for best performance Taylor ninja Swift. theories melina jurgens aren't they making like a sequel to this game <laughs> Hellblade, right? Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung. Oh, no. I can't. Ah, I gotta... Quickly! I don't know if we can listen to this. So I will prepare a, uh... An alternative soundtrack. Sorry if that was really loud. They're about to go hard. I prepared an alternative soundtrack for this. Boom, boom. I should play Binding of Isaac. How is she doing this with her mouth? That's crazy. 
out. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's loud or quiet. <laughs> I, I need a better song. What the heck is this? This is Pizza Tower. Death I Deserve Yoli. Loud. I'll turn it down. Is that good? Is that a better volume? Is that Kratos? Maybe. Play the Crust Cove theme. You know, that's probably more like reasonable. How's this? Yeah, I have my volume like way louder than I usually do because uh, yeah, we're watching a video. And it all comes from the same place. Hold it, Mr. DJ. What do you think they're singing? What are they actually singing? Come in, Mr. DJ. I hate award shows so much. Me too. <laughs> they're, they're jamming. <laughs> Crazy. Are they going to strike me for that Journey song? They probably already have. I like, there's no reason to mute this because it doesn't matter. Like, I'm already copyright claimed by any song in a trailer. But I, I just like muting it. It's kind of like a break. Because this whole award show has no, like, commercial breaks. And th this is that for me. I get to, like, chill for a moment. Why does this fit really well? I'm worried about the fire and all those loose garments. They'll be fine. They practiced this at least two times. Is this a game or not? I don't actually know. This is Hellblade Sinewa's Sacrifice. They just cut to gameplay all of a sudden. Wait, what are they doing? Or this is like Hellblade Sinewa's Saga? I, I don't know. I never played these. Do you hear it? So we're not doing a, a wow, live action performance anymore? Ones. Dude, I love letterbox gaming. I can feel them on my skin. Look at this aspect ratio. It's so cinematic. Each death inked in blood. This was the game where they like facial captured her face so she goes like all the time. She makes like weird faces a lot. There it is. I still don't know what this game is. I've never played the original. I always wanted to, but I never tried it. I remember it was like a stressful game. It's a fun short game. I remember I never played it because like I was in a weird mental state when I I think I own it. But it's like a game about I don't know, it's like schizophrenia, right? She has like voices in her head telling her what to do at all times. It just looks like a stressful game. I'm watching this and like, this, I don't, does this look fun? Look <laughs> crazy? This doesn't look fun. She's like screaming and dying. Hellblade 2. Any good games get announced? Uh, Fortnite Lego. Also Pony Island 2 Panda Circus got announced. That was kind of wild. I can't believe it. It's got freaking Pro ZD in it. Yo, okay, I'll play it. You put it on Game Pass, I will play your video game. That's where I'm at right now. Grow up, All this right, is art. I don't want to grow look up. At the gameplay and World of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Oh yeah, World of Goo 2? Now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award winner nominated tonight Hideo for Best Kojima. Fighting Game. 
the creative director of NetherRealm Studios. It's Ed Boone. Dude, Ed. No way, Boone. Prediction for the Tony Island 2 lore. You really like can't predict anything Mr. Mullins is coming up with. You gotta just like play it. I can't, I can't even the start. The best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for best narrative got us all in their drama and their characters. And yes, sometimes in some weird stuff. We Who is this? Explain. This is the Mortal Kombat guy. Here are the nominees. He made Mortal Kombat. Best mm, narrative. Uh, uh, in a horror story, they're only victims. We're gonna see this clip monsters. ten different times. Me this day. We're gonna see this Together, clip ten different times survive. tonight. Attention, all personnel. I don't know about this we one. Have uninvited guests. No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, I will press on. And he's here on some kind of hunt. He's not himself. No, Al Pacino. Al couldn't read the teleprompter last year. <laughs> and the award he was goes struggling. To I don't think they're bringing him back. Alan Wake 2. Yo, oh, Sam Lake's here. This music. What are they gonna show for Pizza Tower? Wait, I hope. I hope they show something. I want a Pizza oh, Tower sizzle reel. Thank you so much. Um, I think Pizza Tower w wins to, though. From the beginning, was a very story-focused project for us. I share this with the whole narrative team: the writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Tinika, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay, Simon, Molly, the whole narrative Showing team, him. Uh, directors working with actors, Ansi, uh, Hannah, Sam Lake's Rosie, a really cool guy, Holly, by the way. Uh, all the wonderful actors here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, Ilka, uh, uh, Matt and David. My cat's here to accept the, the award. Whole, whole cast, wonderful <laughs> actors, and, and the song makers who made custom music, custom songs to Sorry for talking over him. We're going to see him at least like five more times this year. Or this, this tonight. <laughs> He'll be up here more. This road. He's going to win like game of the year or something. Maker coming through fried music uh, for our chapter songs. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to push things further. To do something new and it's always a risk for you to embrace music. it and Come understand on. it means so much. I'll treasure this always. Thank you. Yeah, gamers! Woo! Get him off the stage. <laughs> they can't cut from that sad music to like... Oh no, more sad. Artist to stay. Is this that one? Yeah, we're just artists in general. Tokyo. They are unseen. Unseen. Wait, what? What was that? You may have recognized that incredible creator who built her own independent studio what was that? in Tokyo. And she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show. Just show it to the audience and the fans Jeff, I don't first. know what that was. So that's what we're going to do. We're honored to have her back. Did you just make fun of them? No, Please I didn't mean to if I did. Please give a welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Oh. I know Akumi Nakamura. Was that Akumi Nakamura talking the whole time? Is she making her own studio? She is precious. I love her. Wow. She made Bayonetta. She? She's the reason Bayonetta yeah, rules. Well, and Hideki Kamiya, but... <laughs> She's amazing. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm super excited to be on this stage again. Thank you. Uh, first, oh. <laughs> first, I want to say thank you to the Anshin artist, Miteru. <laughs> Unseen. I see. You, okay. Thank you. So she made you, a. You, you, all of you. <laughs> I'm not sure what. What? So what did she make? I'm confused. Your support changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> She's just Today, like weird. I am honored to introduce. Excited for GTA Six. Not at all. 
Kimberly. It's time to see the unseen. We did it! Bye bye! I think she made Ghostwire Tokyo recently? So she was like a she was something on Ghostwire Tokyo, I, rem I remember. I'm petting my cat right here, you can barely see her. What is this? She made Mario. What am I- I don't know what I'm looking at, man. Kimori. Counter-Strike 3! Proud to announce Valorant 2, guys. So many incredible projects. Man, that looked like a video now, game, tonight, didn't it? It's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big, established franchises. They just and, had a Kumi Nakamura just, like, sequel. show it's up for that. I don't like know what that was. Is, brand new like a studio? Like just saw with Kimori and, like, this project. Oh, we're moving on. My <laughs> sister what is this? This is, uh, Pony Island 3. My I don't know true. what this is. She loves like new. This looks like, I want to say League of Legends. This is like that Ruined King game. That guy's got a big head. This is Diablo 4. <laughs> it looked like... <laughs> it looked like, uh... What's his face? Deckard Cain. Path of Exile? Maybe? I, I don't know what this is. It's like a game. <laughs> Path of Exile. Oh, okay. I'm interested now. Never mind. I take everything I said bad back. Okay, it's like a torchlight Diablo esque experience. Made by freaking Ori people. They should have started with that. They should have started with the, like, by the way, this is by the Ori people. Expect good music and very pretty art. Never have I done it such a quick 180. I mean, it looked like Diablo because Deckard Kane over here. And then they, they hit me with the Moon Studios, by the way. No rest for the wicked. Cool. See that in 2025. Yeah, we, we're not seeing that for like another year or two. That's no rest for the Wicked in action RPG from Moon Studios, and more cool. information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside Show. Gotta play Ori. Tonight, during the Game Awards, viewers in the U.S. can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Legion Go gaming handhelds, a Windows 11 gaming PC in your hand. Head to TGALegion.com before the end of the show to enter for your chance to win. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. Made by the, the most generic trailer ever made by Legion. Or, God damn it. Made by Team Cherry. What if Team Cherry just dropped Silk Tongue and they're making something else now? That'd be so funny. What is, is this? The Nintendo Switch? What was that? It's gone now. We'll never see that again. The best discoveries are the ones you really feel. The thrill of exploring new Wait, worlds. Wait, Kiryu gets a grappling hook? What was that? The rush of victory. But there's still so much more to discover. They're making Hollow Knight remastered. <laughs> oh, Little Kitty Big City showed up. Wait, is that coming to Game Pass? Same with Aggro Crab? Holy moly. Every choice you make is a chance to feel something new. 
Hello, Good Carlo luck. Esposito. Wait, what is that his name? Giancarlo Esposito. Why are they still advertising Far Cry 6? That came out like three years ago. Avatar, this came out like today, and it, I think it sucks. It looks weird. You have the mark. You are Sorrento. Who? Teach me the ways of the Na'vi. The Na'vi. I don't know. The, land, the RDA? That is death. It looks neat, but it reminds me of the Avatar Xbox 360 game from like forever ago. Actually, no, it's a first person shooter, so it's a little different. Us warriors. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, available now. That was like a mobile game ad. PlayStation. Hada, hada, hada. What is... No, not a Discord ad. Good day, Sot. You're just a wiffle waffle. You can't even aim when you go into battle. I am a baron. Can they just, like, say... I write decrees, you mix mortar. Can they just say sentences that are normal? You eat horse bread because your mom's a baker! You got thy squad. We got thy spot. Discord. We have been saying it all night, but that? it really has been an outstanding year for was gaming. That, and now to talk about some of- Was that like an ad for just like, hey guys, use Discord, by the way. Like, what, what was that? The great Gonzo! Oh, oh fuck, I almost needed Gonzo, I'm sorry. Hey, Jeff. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, buddy, thanks for uh, coming. I Looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? He stole his fit. Well, I really, well, don't, I really think... don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have, what you have, have you been playing? playing? Seriously, what, what have, have you been, been playing? playing? Gonzo doesn't play video games. He's a puppet. Hey, everybody. Hey everybody. Jeff, snap Gonzo's out of it. Gonzo's buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Uh... All right, that was a good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. Jeff, you yeah, go well, jokester. Thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing, Gonzo? Well, lots and lots of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. Gonzo, there is no That's side right, quest you where you follow chicken, a chicken so in Tears of the Kingdom. I don't think you played the game, it. Gonzo. Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. Gonzo. Right, well, any other great gaming highlights? <laughs> there is no cuckoo Gonzo? mission. Are you kidding? Actually, if you have the time. Hey, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. You didn't play the game? I did. There was no cuckoo mission. You got the case board? Yeah, well, that's quite a conspiracy you've uncovered. It's like Crash I Bandicoot? know, I know. You probably think I'm obsessed with chickens and I can't appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. I mean, yeah, yeah I think we're all thinking that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, what Gonzo. Do you think, Zelda? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do this IRL. The chicken's <laughs> real. Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for best debut oh, I'm just indie game. <laughs> I think best we're entering game. game awards like it was cringe, right? Oh shit, but this is debut indie. Cocoon does not deserve this. Pizza Tower has won this, I hope. Please, Pizza Tower. There it is! It's here! Where are we going? What is Vimba? Viewfinder or Pizza Tower? Viewfinder was really cool. I feel as free as a cuckoo! Yeah! Ooh, cuckoo! <laughs> All right, the great Gonzo. Thank you, guys. They would not have cut to Mick now Pig the task at hand. if the Pizza Game Tower did not win. To... Pizza Tower. Cocoon. What? That's it. The stream is over. This guy made Inside in Limbo. It's not a debut. <laughs> Come on. 
I know it's it okay. Cocoon is an amazing ass game, but it's not a it's not it's a, it's the best indie game. It's not the best debut indie. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, the team from Geometric couldn't make it out tonight. Uh, they couldn't even be they here. Pass along their thanks for they dox McPig for nothing. For Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. Oh, she the Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. I love um, the Game Awards. Can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. The team didn't even show up for Cocoon. Later tonight, we'll announce the best mobile game I am of 2023. Raging. But which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will I don't be care, awarding Sydney. the most Pizza anticipated did not win. title with their Play what the More hell? Award on Twitch. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. And now it's time for our next world premiere. Fuck this. <laughs> Is this a video game? Yo, yo. These are people. Stadia 2, everybody. Sonic? Sonic Frontiers 2? Wait, this might be cool. This could be cool. It's not gonna be cool. They're gonna announce Sonic Dream Team is now coming to everything but Apple Store. Shadow, it might be Shadow the Hedgehog 2. Did you save the game? Really? It could be Shadow of the Hedgehog okay. 2. This is not Sonic. What is this? Let me reintroduce you. I don't care about Jet Set Radio. I mean, it looks all right. To be honest, wait, 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 wait. Go back to Jet Set Radio. What was that? You just like casually announced that's a radio remake. What am I? Crazy Taxi? We don't need a remake of that. That game's already perfect. They're just making all of them again? Okay. Hold on, let's go back to that. Look at that guy's face, man. <laughs> Jet Set Radio is cool, but they already, I don't oh, know if yeah. you- Now, typically a world premiere reveals one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. All those are first of the many brand new games called except for release over the next several years. Thanks to Sega for that truly incredible announcement. All right, well, this next trailer Shout might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. Here we go. Dragon Ball fans? What is this? It's another Dragon Ball game with extremely realistic graphic graphics. Uh, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. Go oh, Goku! I know him. Food guy ten Kaichi six. Sorry, I keep lagging. I went into the future. This looks like Budokai Tenkaichi. Tremble before my power. With better graphics. I'll show you the horrors of hell. Shake the earth. And it's gonna show Cell too. Yeah. The Broly what? And then it's gonna show like boo. Alright, there's Cell. Sparking Zero, what a awful title. <laughs> Sparking Zero. Moving on. Alan Wake 3. Oh, Supermassive. This is the Quarry 2. It's too dangerous. Or this is, what? Oh yeah, this is the Dead by Daylight single player game. Made by Supermassive, which is kind of weird. Kind of could be neat. Will Pennywise show up? Will the guy from Scream? Ghostface is going to show up? 
Trying to watch your radio, the birds spill. This voice is a burden that we both share. Do a sinister tone. The guy from Scream. Matthew Lillard shows up. So is this just a game of Dead by Daylight as, like, Until Dawn? Because that's really funny to me. Oh no, I gotta do quick time events to restart this generator. The killer's gonna get me. That definitely looks like a villain. The casting of Frank Stone. Oh no! Who's Frank Stone? Am I supposed to care? This is just so they That's can right. sell. Two huge names in the horror genre, new... Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games, are what? coming together for a brand new single player experience the casting of Frank Stone. I wanted to play the Quarry or the other new worlds, uh, but now it's time anthology to game. To a world Dark Pictures. Haven't seen in quite some time. Silk Song. Silk Song. Is this some? Um, this is not. This isn't that like Immortals Rising Ubisoft game. This is something else. This is something weird. That is anime. I don't know. Tales of Open World. This is Tales of Crustacea. Uphold this legacy now and for always. No, I thought it was Pal World 2, but it's too official. It's Square Enix. Oh, this is like Secrets of Mana or something, right? It really does look like Genshin Impact. I think it's like a Secrets of Mana thing, right? Yeah, a mana adventure. I hate that that's the series. I don't care at all about this. It's gonna be visions of mana. Nice, good one. <laughs> oh, I love how you sound defeated when it was anime. I mean, like, I don't care about... I never was like a... Secrets of Mana kid or a Chrono Trigger kid. So it just didn't, it doesn't like wow, appeal to me. It is Dude, Faye Swifty, aka the awesome the blue <laughs> figure four. Hello. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those. This is Sekiro 2. Deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. Neo 3. The only thing we know for sure. Team Ninja kind of just like shits these out. Or is this the DLC for uh, that one game? Even if we are apart, I think this is the DLC for that one. I can't even remember the game. I played it. It came out this year. Without remorse. I don't know how they pump these soul zikes out. This is just that one game. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it was it was like so forgettable. I even played it. Uh, it's it's Sekiro, but made by Team Ninja. It's not Liza P. How many mountains must you move to alter? But it's a game about parrying. Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. I literally like cannot draw. I can't, it's I'm drawing a blank on like what the name of this is. Uh, I can't remember. It's not Neo. It's uh, Ronin. What? Rise of the Ronin. This is a new game. This isn't DLC for that one game. will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? Forge your fate. What? How are they just like pumping these out? 
That's Rise of the Ronin coming to PlayStation in 2024. And now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Here are the nominees for best action game. Armored Core 6, Fires Rush. of Rubicon. Dead no, Island Armored 2, Core 6, 1. Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. Hi-Fi Rush. And the game award goes to Armored uh... Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Congratulations from here are the nominees for Best Art Rush. Direction. Alan Wake 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Lies of P, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It's going to go to Tears the of the Legend Kingdom for like Zelda, no Tears reason. Of the Kingdom. And the game award goes to Alan Wake 2. Cool. No Hi-Fi Rush. Here are the nominees for Best VR AR. Uh, Gran Turismo I don't know 7, what these are. Humanity, Humanity was Horizon, cool. Call I didn't know it was Mountain, VR. Resident Evil Village VR mode. My and PO Smash. are going to shatter. And the game award goes to Resident Evil Village VR mode. Congratulations to Capcom. That one? Now your nominees for Best I mean, it's Mobile good. Game. Oh, the hell Final yeah. Hello Kitty Island, Island Adventure. Crisis, Honkai Star Rail. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I mean, it's Honkai Monster Star Rail. Hunter now and Terra Nell. And the game award goes to Hello Kitty. Honkai Star Rail. No, I'm Toyo shattered, Chris. man. All right, we have much more game awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2, and some oh, of our yeah. biggest game announcements are still to come. But right now, please like keep to meet watching. One of tonight's nominees for best debut indie game who was also part of the newly inducted Future Class, Pizza presented Tower? by Old Spice. Old Spice, what? My name is Abi. In India, when I grew up, Abhi. I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian families, food is not just a thing to cook, but also oh. a way of expressing affection and all the things that they cannot say. Vimba is a narrative cooking Vimba. game that tells the story of an Indian mother who moves to Canada in the late 1980s. It's a story about love, loss, and family. The more local you are, the more international you become. I've never heard of this game. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into though. it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. Oh shit, move right along. It's the third. Why are there so many tablets? Why is everyone making their dumb, like, Wii U-ass tablets? I think Nintendo knew what they were doing. They were ahead of their time. This is like the third gaming tablet we've seen. Did I play RE Village ever? No, I haven't. I've wanted to, but I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it. Murkoff Corporation, what is this? This is a multiplayer game. This is the dying light day. What's the game called? This is gonna be the next couple years of like multiplayer horror game. It's just like screaming Twitch streamer, Twitch streamer ads. Ryan! Wait, do we have to grind the children? What up, man? This is that one. I forget what it's called. Very comfy. But the miracles of science. It's uh, Outlast Trials, right? Sometimes the finger of God reaches down and touches you. Men and women of any race, religion, class, or political I wish, I hope I block one of them with a walking screen. Ah! Hello, Insim. It's not that, it's a video game. It's just Outlast Trials, right? What is this trailer, man? Calm down! Pre-order? It's not out? Ooh, what is this? This looks cool. He's got a vape! Wait, is that actually a vape? Vape Beast! <laughs> I thought that was a real video game. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. And are you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's is it bad creators. That that He's was like, that, that was not anti-vape. I want to fight a vape dragon. That sounded cool. And tonight, 
I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you. That was so bad. On his upcoming project. Here we go. That made me want to vape so I could fight the dragon. I'm a gamer. What is this? Ah, Death Stranding 2. Who cares? I, that, I'm uncanny. This is uncanny. I'm uncomfortable. Hideo, please stop. Please take it back. The hungry purple dinosaur. Stop, Hideo. Kind zingy fox. The jabbering crab. And the mad whale. And started vending and cracking. Hideo, you're making me uncomfortable. The hungry purple dinosaurs. This literally looks like an AI face generation. And maybe it is. Who? Stop. Did she get the Death Stranding? Did she catch it? What? What is it? Chat GPT the game. <laughs> For all players and screamers. What? Was, wait, is this not Death Stranding 2? Hideo, what was that? <laughs> Hideo just shows up with that. Oh shit, it's the Hideo door. Norman Reedus is coming out of there. Just kidding. It's him. Please guys. welcome the visionary game developer Look at behind shoes. OD, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Wait, so OD? Hideo, what are you doing, man? Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. あ、サンキュージェフ。えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこの and this title will feature uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. I wish I knew who that was. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? It's Silent Hills again. I mean, it's, it looked like it was supposed to be like a scary game. They were, the actors were screaming. I hope it's a Silent Hills type vibe. Yeah, PT2. I feel so, I, I would be terrified to be this translator. How do you remember everything so he said? I really like to always challenge new things, groundbreaking things, and that's my kind of rule. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology, um, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But it's, it's really to make immersive and also something that never, no one has seen before is what I'm trying to do. And it is a game, don't get me wrong, but it's at the Mr. same Kojima. time a movie, but at the same time a new form of media. Mr. Kojima, you did well, not answer the question. You didn't say shit about that game. Wait, wait. Oh, hold up, is, he's got to announce Death Stranding 2. Else at the door? It's Norman! Oh no, it's Timothy Chalamet, the lead actor in the game. Everyone, it's Kanye West. Welcome Jordan oh shit, to the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the Kojima verse, Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele is ODing. Okay, this is kind of neat. What's up? Hey. How's it going? 
Oh my God, Jordan, welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise. <laughs> I know you're a big fan of Hideo's games, right? I'm a huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon. And uh, I, I can just I can yeah. say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. <laughs> And he's been an inspiration to me, and the opportunity him. to collaborate with him is truly later. incredible. In my films, I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this. He's the guy. And he does it on a whole nubba level. <laughs> And what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored They're obsessed to be collaborating with, like, immersion. with the GOAT. Let's go! <laughs> what Two is the game, working though? Together. Uh, Hideo, I want to ask you, how are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. Is it, it was, it's probably like a horror game, because Jordan feels like a horror director. で、お会いして非常に気が合うので、もう最初に会った時から、え、昔からの知り合いみたいな、大人な地味みたいな感じで。で、僕は I remember seeing like a random tweet where Kojima was like hanging with Jordan Peele. And then another, another one where he was like hanging with Timothy Timothy Chalamet。彼が一緒にコラボするの非常に面白いかなっていうので、え、冗談と一緒にものを作り出しました。well, Jordan is one of those genius and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we <laughs> both like and we're really happy and we, really we like wanted things. to collaborate something. And, and this time, um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will yeah. be really awesome. So that's why I wanted to do something together with Jordan. <laughs> Kojima's an expert of like answering the question without saying yes. anything. He's so good at that. <laughs> Maybe the guy isn't even translating either yet. <laughs> Did I see his tweet about the FNAF movie? I think I did. There's like a fake Kojima account too that I keep getting in my feed. I can't remember. I love when he tweets like, I saw the marbles. Or he, he just says like one sentence. I love his movie tweets. They're so funny. You can tell when he hated a movie because he doesn't like elaborate at all. He's just like, I saw the Marvels movie. So uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of, um, um, it's not it might just Jordan. Be fake. I have I other uh, creative collaborative partners uh, with me on board on this project. I can't really uh, say who they are right now, but they, I tell you, they are the legends and they're going to be amazing. And uh, I okay. actually call them the Avengers. The door is closed for now, so no more special guests. But it's going to be came up here and said nothing. I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. That's, that's I didn't even see his like pin. Look at that thing. We cannot wait to learn thing. more. Hideo Kojima, Jordan Peele, thank you so much, He's guys. He's got this. Damn. All right, it's time for another game announcement. This one, 65 million years in the making. I own an island. No Man's Sky 2. Off the coast of Costa Rica. Jurassic Park? Really spectacular. Spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. What is it? Something that was real. Is it going to be another Jurassic Park builder game? Or is like a weird CGI Chris Pratt going to show up? Can you hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nublar. <laughs> She's infected. She's gonna turn into a dinosaur. Oh, come on. You don't need to make a callback to the movie. I know it's Jurassic Park. You don't need to make do the thing with the door opening. Jurassic Park, the telltale experience. We copy pasted the movie. Also, we got Chris Pratt. He's in the game. 
How did she get outside? Is anyone there? Dude, 100% Chris Pratt is going to show up. A character from the movie or Chris Pratt is going to show up. I'm going to scream. Newman's going to show up. Where is he? Where's Chris Pratt? Oh, no, this is a T-Rex. They're, they're teasing that. Where is Chris Pratt? Please. What the hell? No, it was Jurassic Park? And then Chris Pratt shows up. What? What was in the cold st I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer, Zed. Yo, Zed's here. Hello, Zed. I like his shirt. Hello, everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best, best music. audio design. Sound is an often rush, overlooked please. but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. Please. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, Hi -fi rush. the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the Sends satisfying an EDM sound producer. of shooting he a makes web. Music. This year, we've seen some I don't know why he's here. What does he have to do with games? Design and games? As talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. I know it's Alan Wake, here too. I just want to believe it's Hi Fi Rush as well. Best audio design. Alan Wake, too. It's not Dead Space, sorry. Hi Fi Rush's whole deal is audio. I forgot that came out this year. And the game award goes to... Hippie Rush. Hi-Fi Rush. Yo! They made it. <laughs> they did it. They got a game award. Very cool. Nice. I didn't expect that either. I expected like Alan Wake 2 to, to sweep it. I mean, they had to throw. Yeah, you're right. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Where's Shinji Mikami? Oh, Johanna's going to translate this? Oh, Johanna's just a quick translation. Okay, Thank good. you for this amazing award. It's I was so worried. Glad that the work that the team has done together has, to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. It's Most a good of video all, game. to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I wish he got up there and was like, I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> I'm not translating all that. Uh, thanks for the award. <laughs> all right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check Thank out God the we can turn to the world of Fortnite. Island in Fortnite. You do not get to scan this QR code. To collect. You're not allowed to. Into a full -on Sorry. Platform. With tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale earlier today, <laughs> Lego Fortnite launched. You have to go Saturday. somewhere else to scan that QR Fortnite code. Fortnite Festival tomorrow, though. <laughs> the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. Yeah, there's like a Rocket League game in, in Fortnite now, too. Move your head, idiot. <laughs> Dude, they got Rocket League in, in Fortnite now. Have you heard that Fortnite's censoring guns in their skins? I thought they like got rid of that. Didn't they get a bunch of backlash on that? And we're like, hey, that was dumb, sorry. Isn't that the character that was like bigger? Did they make her skinny for this? It was like Penny, right?
Do it as Jonesy. I love Jonesy. So is this just like a whole ass like Forza racing game in Fortnite? I don't understand. It's made by the Rocket League people, so... It's probably decent. Race without limits. What does that mean? That looked pretty limited. They were like tracks. You guys were limited to the track you were on. <laughs> Dude, if they put Viva Pinata in Fortnite, I would play it. Elden Ring DLC. Not at all. Uh, glory fades through time. Neo 3. I don't know. Sekiro 2. Somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Baldur's Gate 4. Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good. Of course. Do you think we'll see the Elden Ring suffering? DLC in this at all? What the win? fuck is that? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only is this souls like evil. Lends the world it's, it's Wukong. Black myth Wukong. This actually looks cool. That is your destiny. I love how like a trademark of Souls like games is just like messed up enemy design this is like weird of the new west welcome the destined one the destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for yeah it's journey to the west but you're uh, you play as wukong it's like inspired by journey to the west not destiny so this is the face of the destined one this game looks really cool. Oh, hi. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? I get to play as Monkey Man. You have your big staff. And what the heck? What the heck is going on? I don't know. There's a big creature. This game looked like it had a lot going on. And it, it still looks like that. Oh, he got command grabbed. Oh, sweet destiny. Video game. But I think this was like a... A game made by a Chinese studio that's like, I want to say it's like their first game. I can't remember. Maybe I'm lying about that. Oh, Fortnite. Batman. No, it's Green not Fortnite. <laughs> it's Flash. Justice League. Superman. We gotta Your kill the Justice League. Slaughtering the people they swore to protect. We must kill the Justice League in 2024. Justice League will burn this earth down for me. I forgot this game was coming out. This is like rock steady. How do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. You think you're a team now? I forgot they got Kevin Conroy for this still, even though he's no longer with us, unfortunately. This is like the last thing he recorded, I believe. No shit, he's the Flash. I hate this series so lame. No, Rocksteady makes good games, but this is this is a weird video game. I don't know how to feel about this. The Arkham series of Batman games are like one of my favorite trilogies or quadrilogies. I don't know what to call it. I liked all four of them, but this one's been weird because it's kind of like uh, 
joining me now are Rebecca and Megan What's from the word? Digital Extreme. Live in Canada service to talk so about scary. all things Warframe. What are you wearing, oh, we Rebecca? Warframe Rebecca Twitch <laughs> kills the body with those. Twitch. But I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe. So, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time just because our game is probably the oldest game here. Rebecca, maybe, are you going to stab yeah, someone with those strong. claws? I know. It's because our community is so awesome. And we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. I feel yeah, like there's I mean, a timeline. It's been an incredible ride. Ten she years of just Midna tattoo. Developers, our community <laughs> she supporting she us along the Midna? way. So, if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank That's you so much. That's kind of cool. I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys. Let's take a look. There's a timeline where I got really into Warframe, uh, except it's not this no one. I played Warframe for like an hour and was like, cool. That was. Eh. But now. Changed everything. Apparently, Warframe's really good. The lidless eye has seen you. Unfortunately, I played Destiny and got into that instead. But there is a timeline out there where I got really into Warframe. It's unfortunately not this one. Bop. I did really like sliding, and then you jump, and it goes like, Vroom, and you twirl and jump. That was fun. We need more hosts wearing weaponry and armor. Stay tuned. You've seen that guy in the crowd. You know he's the Baldur's Gate 3 director and he's going to show up for Game of the Year. You know he's going to come up to, to that stage. He would not have worn a suit of armor to the Game Awards if he wasn't going to get on stage. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this Black Myth Wukong? Wukong still? There's a subway. What is going on? Is Dude, any Warframe fans like, Dude, it's Carlos! He, we thought he was dead in the last expansion. Richard as well is back. No way. His teeth are still ugly. He's got a cat. Whispers in the walls. That's crazy. Can't believe they did there that. There is so much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to SuperGameAwards.com through what? December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. Jeff feels like he's very worried we're going to leave. I'd recommend playing the new Fortnite Lego thing. It looked fun. I I'm, want I'm to check it out. Ready for a new way to play? No, I'm good. Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. I would want to go here, Nintendo but it costs a lot of money. Now so, uh, Universal Studios Hollywood. Another Fortnite stream? Dude, I would play so much of Fortnite Lego. Like, anything but Fortnite Battle Royale is fun. Oh, Starfield, yes. I love exploring procedurally generated planets. I love leaving bad reviews on Steam where Bethesda employees are forced to respond to my review and be like, um, you're wrong, actually. That's my favorite thing from Starfield. They're like forcing their community support team to respond to Steam reviews with like, no, you're actually wrong. Exploring space is cool. Just because there's nothing there doesn't mean it's not interesting. What do you think the first people who went to space were feeling? You're wrong. <laughs> How do you think the people who first explored the moon felt? Were they bored when they went there? No, there was nothing there. But they were having the time of their life. Like, okay, this is a video game though. Life to the living. Pirates Death of the Caribbean. To the dead. We have sworn to protect. The living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate. Uh, Harry Potter. What happened to those people? To bring peace on Erin's souls. Once their grip on this world is dishonored. Broken. Three. Life to the living. Death to the dead. 
weird long rant on the bingo card. Life to the living, death to the dead. Honoring my oath, or sacrificing the living to bring me back. Assassin's Creed. Sure I can do this. Honor your oath, or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. It's gonna be like in tune. The pirate adventure. Is this Stam? Is this that Ubisoft game? No, it's too good looking to be an Ubisoft game. This is a weird. This lies a P2. Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. Cool. Nine one one. This call comes out in three recorded. months. What is your emergency? I actually looked really cool. You ready? Uh, payday three. Run us down. We gotta get you up. Look out. Ready? Officers down. We need backup. I don't know what I'm. Get back. You can still make it out of this. Drop the gun and let her go. I'm not going in. Why did he do that? He died. So, are you ready? What? Oh, ready. Oh, this is the. And look at this. This is already out. Oh, it's exiting early access. This was like a weird police game people were playing. I remember seeing a bunch of streams of it. It was like a multiplayer. Oh my god, we're back. Sydney, make a dumb joke. Call of Duty, Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Mobile? Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title what about Little you Nightmares want to 3? win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games no, for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. Who? Why do I recognize her? Bonsoir, everyone. Winning she was here last year, year, I think. was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives. All oh, these are like Terra Nil, from Chance the climate of Sinar. crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential like... powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. I heard Chance of Sinar was really games good. For impact. It was like an Outer Wilds kind of game. I don't know what the heck this is. This this was not in... There it is, Chance of Sinar. It's like a, a game where you go to like a world where you don't know the language and you gotta learn it. I heard this was good too. I heard Tachia was also good. Or just Chia. You can like possess anything. Terra is also cool. Vimba I'd never heard of before this. And the game award goes to Chia. Chia. Why is PlayStation accepting this one? Mr. PlayStation himself? Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, developer ourselves, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crippo, co-founder of ourselves. I'd like to thank ourselves family for your trust and unbelievable talent, Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project. I want to play Chia and at some the point. It looked neat. Population of New Caledonia you can just like, it's, it's Mario Odyssey, but you can just like possess anything, like a rock. All along. And Thank you, Mercy. I don't know, it looked funny. <laughs> it also has some cool mechanics where you can like take pictures with a camera, but you have to like go to a room to develop those photos so you can't actually see how your photo looked until afterward. Hello. I'm Abu what game did you say was Outer Wilds? Uh, Chance of Sinar. Raised by wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. I don't know you. I'm sorry. But 
but, 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 that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> no, you don't have to go off I mean, script. I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Reggie is not impressed. Look, I've, I've loved Reggie games says, all my life. Go uh, on with I've, your I've speech, please. All my life, man, Stop stalling. Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod. Golden Sun. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are- I don't are know who this guy is. Awful. I feel bad. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back. And I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and through everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. I'm not sure why he has a cape, but it's cool. <laughs> so. So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. No, I'm gonna offer you this game. A game from my old man. Aww. I hope you like it. That was like a very moving speech. I just wish I knew what he was talking about. I, I got, it's like whiplash. He just Every like showed up. Begins at the end of an I didn't know who he was. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. My Baba, my father. Your what story is this? was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Ooh. Here, I seek my father's return. Oh shit, he's double masked as 2D. I don't know how to. Hmm. It looks really cool. It sadly reminds me a lot of that Prince of Persia game. I cannot stop. I will not stop. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Weird question. Is like... Show me you are ready. Is... What's the word? Uh, Is Black Panther like... <laughs> is like... This and Black Panther, are they like based in the same religion? Is that how- I, I don't know enough about African religion. Oh, don't nod. <laughs> Life is Strange 3, baby. You still don't care about Life is Strange. Bro. What? That was- <laughs> Stop. Is this Life is Strange 3? I don't know the answer to the question. I just want to know, I'm curious. Does that like imagery look very similar to the Black Panther? And I'm assuming it's based in the same religion, which would be neat. I don't know, I'm curious. I don't know enough about that culture. Cancel me, what, for asking a question about, for being curious about someone else's religion? It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because lost records. It's not life is strange. Promise. Just digging a hole. <laughs> that was lost records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. I don't now know what we that have was. a world premiere and new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 You're making it worse. worldwide. <laughs> this entirely in-engine trailer shows off the Remember? blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Jeff's dessert. talking. Remember when they announced like a sequel to Night in the Woods or like something that was Night in the Woods adjacent? I forgot the name of it, but they remember they announced that a while ago. Finally, I found you. This is Elden Ring 2. Trampled by the one you trusted. Or another Souls-like game, who knows? From your king, you 
thought you were a hero. This is game engine footage. You are just one of us. Definitely looks like a video game. Man, is a souls like. He parried. Guess what? He's gonna dodge roll in the next shot. There's gonna be a giant. He's gonna swing and he's gonna dodge roll it. Ghost. You have to risk your life. Come on, do the dodge roll. Close enough. Not. Oh, here it is. Oh, did he dodge it? Nope. What is this? Ah, the first Berserker Kazan. I've already forgotten the title of that. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our <laughs> Looks first good, all right, all right, moving the on. Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. Oh. I might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. I don't know who that is. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balf, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Wow. <laughs> Mozart. They got Mozart for this one. Is this like, I don't, I don't, I never played Final Fantasy VII. Why is Cloud there? These are characters. Oh, Zeppi Roth. Is she the one that dies? I don't know. I was about to ask the question of like, does she, did she die already in the game? I haven't played it. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, she died. Rest in peace. Yeah, she's definitely gonna die in that one. If she's not already dead. Oh, we're still going. Oh, it was a human doing the singing. Whoa. <laughs> I hadn't seen it yet. Yeah, 25 years. Double remake? I don't know. She is definitely singing that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trademark song. I guess I could have played it negative three. <laughs> Aerith dying, or is it Aerith? I don't know how to say her name. Aerith dying is like a Darth Vader is Luke's father type reveal that like literally everyone knows. At least I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you, but was that Jesse Cox? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> it's Jesse. Jesse said sitting next to Ben Starr. Beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which what is not the most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. And Flute Guy is going to be but there. That's not all we have tonight. For no Final way. Fantasy fans. They're going to do another trailer. Done. That's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, Dee Dee. Final Fantasy 17. Because the future has the power to change anything. 
even the past. Final Fantasy Tactics 7 Reborn. Strap in, Newty. This is Apex Legends. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna vomit. Why did it? Why, why? You don't use a sword in Apex Legends. It's not a melee game. There's your Titanfall 3, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the closest you're ever getting to Titanfall 3. That's very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw Dude, was look at the security guards. Himself. Thank Ready you so to much strike at any moment. Announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, I love when they do these rapid fire Wind ones. Two, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi Fi Rush, and The Alan Legend Wake of two. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the game award goes to. Alan Wake. Final Fantasy 16. Neat. So, Kinsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game Cocoon. Dave, Dave if you Diver, win this. Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. It's going to be Cocoon and the again. The game award goes to. Sea of Stars. Okay. Congrats, Very cool. Sabotage. Here are the nominees for best community support. What did he say about Sabotage? Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final <laughs> If Fantasy Destiny 14, 2 wins this, I'm going to laugh no so hard. Sky. And the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larry. <laughs> Destiny would have been right. so funny. They hi the they fired their entirety, the, the entirety of their like, community Rock, support Mortal team. Kombat 1. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. I don't know what these are. And the uh, Game Award this year goes to... All-Star Brawl 2. Street Fighter 6. Okay. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. This Your nominees a... this year were Final Fantasy and 7 And you may have Rebirth. noticed Silk Song wasn't and on there. That's because like a it's out right now. Infinite Wealth, <laughs> Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken 8. I don't care. Hades 2. This year goes to Final Fantasy 7 Reaper. Congratulations, Square and Nomura san. All right. Well, it's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy. No, RPG he's talking about Genshin and Honkai. Set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight we have an exclusive look at Penokane, the next destination. Anyway, here's Silk Song. Hoyoverse. I can't wait to gin shit my pants. Fables about the stars. Yes. Its stories tell of what is and can't what wait. Is. Its pages will always reveal something new. Oh, it's Chester. The outlaw. And little girl. Is this Genshin or Honkai? Like the, you can't tell the difference. <laughs> Those are unforgettable notes, that should be a game show, Genshin or Honkai. I don't. Do Genshin players like? Is, is anyone? Does anyone play Genshin here? Does anyone know? Like, are you freaking out? Like, oh, they got him. He's in. Like, what is this? Meanwhile, the next trailer is going to be like a Destiny 2 trailer, and I'm going to be like freaking out. <laughs> it's going to be funny. I'm going to be like, dude, they got him! No way, he's back! The path of the trailblaze will continue. Perhaps, on one of these pages, I'll appear in your story, too. Oh, that was Honk? It wasn't even Genshin. It was Honkai Star Rail. Young lady, may I ask your name? She has boobs, Akron, as we can see. The Galaxy Ranger. Whoa, that was Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Monster like Hunter 6? Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter Now is played in the real world, and tonight they have a special in-game event going on right Monster now. Monster Hunter 6? With new monsters, new weapons, and Look special this. free game items. I forget what this guy's called. Hunt. It's available Zagredos now or something. for iPhone and Android, so check it out. Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got Beautiful an exclusive guy. new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, you meant Fall Guys. X Fortnite. You know what I find I find really funny about the Fortnite Lego trailer? 
is they fall into some portal and get turned into Legos, and they're not like freaking out at all. They're just like really happy to be turned into a Lego. It's like they've been waiting their whole life to be turned into Legos. They're not like freaking out that they just got turned into a Lego creature. <laughs> Oh, hey, Call of Duty's here. Remember when Christopher Judge came on stage and was like, yeah, fuck Call of Duty, am I right, guys? That was an Overwatch map. Why is that guy glowing red like that? What the hell? He's on a sparrow! I don't- what am I looking at? Oh! Oh! What is this Fortnite game? <laughs> have I seen the talking cat gun? Wait, I have seen that one where it's like, Ooh, ooh, I love you! No way, I was joking about Skull and Bones. They're not supposed to show this. This game's never supposed to come out. It's not real. This game has been in development for like 10 years. It's such a cool idea for a game because it's just Assassin's Creed 4 but multiplayer. But... I don't know. This is straight up coming out in three months though. I don't know. I love Assassin's Creed 4. It's like one of my favorite games ever. But I don't know what Skull and Bones even is. But apparently it's just coming out in three months. All right, we're back here at the Game Awards. And that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. Oh, and now that's like it's next time week? for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Uh, Hollow Knight. No, that was like 2016 or something. 18. Oh, no. Prey 2. They're about to announce a Redfall expansion. Try to redeem Redfall. It's not Prey 2. Maybe it is Prey 2, because Prey ended with like a no, it's not Prey 2. It's like Deathloop 2. Bro, you're the barber. If you're cutting yourself on the tools, I don't trust you as my barber. <laughs> Relax, man. I don't bite. What is this? Lock up tight now. Blade. Just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> it's an open season on all suckheads. Hell yeah. There you go. Joining me now. <laughs> open season on all suckheads. <laughs> from Marvel to tell us how did Some this motherfuckers want to ice skate up hill. Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus <laughs> on bringing together world-class talent with the fan favorite characters that they love. Now we are huge I'll play the fans fuck out of a Blade KBO, game. Not only because of the story-rich games they create. It's open season games, and all suckheads. Because of their authentic passion. And that's why on Blade's 50th if you anniversary, haven't watched the we are Northern so Lion honored Marvel, to announce this true um, Marvel team up. Marvel Midnight yes, Suns playthrough is like the funniest thing ever. Loop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And, I think they. Uh, when we had, you know, when I think they released and Redfall, to chat with Marvel, and we're like, ah, shit, that flopped. Let's, really let's, them. let's get Blade. 
on a superhero that and then love. move everything from Redfall to that. I think they straight up did I that. I mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. And I mean, think about it. It's it's a mature, like all they had to do was just make Blade the protagonist. Single player where you because they already have the vampire stuff your way for true believers. It's a dream come true. Very excited to learn this more. This is scary. I think why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual Don't heritage resonated with me. It. So yes, it is a <laughs> dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> well, if... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wesley Snipes? I, is Wesley Snipes still alive? And we shared it with <laughs> bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun no, goes actually, down. Actually, no. un petit peu la merde, quand même. Anything else you can oh, tell still, us about the game? Oh, he's still—he's 60. Pretty early, right? <laughs> uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love Dude, into this immersive <laughs> third person. I just checked my new YouTube notifications and I just got, Paris. I have like five comments so, on people on the Pony back. Island video being like, this coach. aged like milk. Voila. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Stunts too. Diga Bell, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. All right, awesome. Thanks, Diga. All right. Now, please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation. Oh my God, Anthony, Anthony Mackie? Mackie? No way, they got him. Everybody, everybody. I, Geekling, I did not want to say it. I didn't want to comment on what Jeff just said. Guys, <laughs> it sounded a little you. questionable. Up. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted stage. Metal on Peacock. And... Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay? Anthony, what are you doing here? Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet, so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Twist to Metal Season 2, because guys. Because of our incredible fans. Wow. Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so I was wondering if I should watch this. Revving, you're going on another I don't care about Twisted Doe. Metal, though. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Can you tell me what Jeff said? He said the guy's don't, name, but it sounded at me. I love you more. weird. Flynn and Anthony are wearing the same outfit? What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> yeah. You think he had, <laughs> you think he had shoes on? Okay, I don't. I haven't been wearing shoes okay. the whole time. Love you too. You think he's got, sh he's got shoes on? He's, we don't have the same outfit. Shut up. Okay. I'm not wearing Today. shoes. Fuck that. <laughs> The best games are like Someone should walk out there without shoes on. <laughs> That'd be with so new funny. Content and challenges, right? And that's what this award <laughs> Don't send my foot pics. Game recognizes. He's the not drunk. He's been drinking water. To deliver fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Or is There's he is an Anthony Mackie drunk? Get him off the stage. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Women's drunk. No. I'll get more alcohol. Don't make me do it. The hour is come, creature. Is Will Smith gonna punch him? I don't think they want that to happen. Let the magic begin! Genshin! Yes! I love Genshin. Best ongoing game. Okay. I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Because he gets up right. here and says so, Fortnite. The game award goes to Shut up. Shut up. Fortnite. Cyberpunk 2077. That is not an ongoing game. You released patches for It's I don't understand. Is heavy, Why is that an ongoing game? They released an expansion for it. <laughs> One. What a journey. What a journey it's been. 
Holy. I don't understand. Video games are awesome. This is an incredible moment. Are they From planning on releasing like yearly expansions forever for Cyberpunk? Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition, like the tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive. And of course the immersive. gameplay just being fun. Is the what gameplay is immersive though? I, this is an exciting team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy Cyberpunk here. Cyberpunk made a comeback? I, I still I haven't mean, played I, it, I have so to I don't know. include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, funny memes. you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players. I should get a turtleneck. When they were actually getting that guy's rocking all of those it. updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077. And it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the music is so funny. <laughs> they have this sad, like, get off the stage music and then the, like, transition music. guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA you 5. You couldn't pull off a turtleneck? I don't want to be James Somerton, but Red Dead I think I series. could. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. <laughs> Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to Steve have you Martin. here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. I don't know Over the this past is. few years at Lightspeed LA, myself and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent LA. have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. Oh, no. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. Cyberpunk 2078. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future. But for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing, let's take a look, Steve, here we go. I'm worried. Speaking of GTA 6, do you see that they said it's gonna be the entirety of Florida as the world map? That sounds boring. Do you know how much of Florida is just like nothing? That sounds so boring. Also, that state is huge. What's going on? Damn, she just got future open-worlded. She's dead. That's true, we do get Disney World. Hush now. It's going, go, going to be okay. She was a robot. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. Blade 2. Robot edition. Is this gonna be some like famous property? Robocop? Damn. Follow me. Sleeping Dogs 2. No, it's a, it's a new studio. It wouldn't be Sleeping Dogs. I wish, though. Sleeping Dogs 2 would be so cool. But it's not. <laughs> it's not that. This is... Adjective, colon, the escape. Last Sentinel. Neat. Very cool. Death Stranding 2. Robocop was good, I heard. Same. I heard it was good. Is this Death Stranding? Now open your eyes. Slowly. This is like Warframe. Take a breath and look around you. Anthem rebooted. What is this? 
Like it looks neat. Get it together, Balbi. Shadow of the Colossus too. Always tests us. You have to fight until the end. Wait, is this that one game? You. There was like a game where it looked really cool. It may be this one. The protagonist had like a huge ass. I can't remember the game. That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024. It might not be that game. Now we have a new look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I have my eye on this when one are we for a while. Get a we have game claim exclusive. And we're to I hope. Their latest announcement right here at TGA. I don't think that was the same game, though. That's my streamer. <laughs> it was a different game, but it looked cool. Is this Genshin again? Oh no. What am I looking at? Wait, I can't read all that. This is too f Oh, this is that one game with the really good like character design. That guy right there on the left. Get excited everybody, it's turn-based combat. Is it a shooter? What's the video game? What's what's the game here? What am I watching? It, it looks like it's turn-based combat, right? I don't know what the vi what's the video game? They got a shark girl. VTuber game. I'm glad she has shark on her tail to let you know that she's a shark. Thank you. I couldn't tell. Coming soon. Okay. Very cool. Call us the children of Providence. Armored Core 7. Gundam? Is it Gundam? I don't know enough about Gundam. It looks like Armored Core 6. Whoa. Funny how the most interesting game was the anti-vape ad. <laughs> Honestly, that was the only one where I was like, that looked like a fun... I literally started that ad off like, oh, this looks like a neat video game. <laughs> we will find the answer and rebuild the broken something. Very cool. Thank you, Gundam. If this isn't Gundam, it will sell zero copies. Mecha Break. We brought in gamers to demo the quick, latest real, cyberpunk. Quick pop quiz. What was the name of that game? We haven't told them what they're playing. Anyone remember? Let's see what happens when they find out. This Pop quiz. Amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> super real. <laughs> no what Gundam. What do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. You're not playing on a Chromebook. Now. Hi, Kitty. What the heck? Oh my Did you God. like the Gundam I game, would Kitty? Never guess that. Mecha I'm butt. I'm getting a new Chromebook. Quick, name the last video game. Name the last three. The tide of war. Okay, this looks good. This is a uh, Hell Divers 2. Hell Divers is like the best the game ever made. Hell Divers 2 looks interesting. We need valiant soldiers to take Cuz they made it they made it into like a third person shooter game. I don't know how it'll translate. Let Smokey make a game? She would be bad at that. 
No, you literally, like, it's impossible to sell Helldivers to you from this. This is gonna look like generic third-person shooter. Trust me. Helldivers is so much fun. They're not gonna show the fact that you can just, like, crush your friends with, like, anything in this game. It's so funny. Join the fight for freedom and list today. They're too afraid to show the fact that, like, half the deaths in this game are because your friend crushed you. <laughs> it's so funny. What is your life? Oh, Warhammer 40k 2. Warhammer 40k Space what Marine 2, right? Is your craft? My craft is death. Hell yeah. What is your pledge? No, this is Warhammer, but it's like a third-person action game. Space Marine 2. Space Marine was really fun. It was like a game from 2013. It's really old. I remember Total Biscuit okay, like freaking out about it. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Chromebook ads aren't ads. They're welcome, propaganda. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who is this? I am your host, Wallendor. And I present to you the old I think this is the guy from Alan Wake 2. Yeah. Writer Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. I think I'm safe to listen to this one. Plus it's old gods of Asgard and they kind of kick ass. They were like the best part of Alan Wake 1. Dude, they got Alan on the stage. Wait. Wait, is the voice actor for Alan Wake... Is the voice actor for Alan Wake not the guy that plays him on the stage? Because that's the guy who does his voice. I thought they were the same actor and voice actor. Hell yeah. You thought Dunkey was joking about what? No, these are like the best parts of the Alan Wake and uh, Alan Wake and Control have like songs from this band in them and they're like the best parts of that game. I think Alan Wake 2 has obviously this song in it. I don't know what sequence it plays during but it's usually the best part of the game. Like, Control's final sequence is, is probably one of my favorite parts in any game. It's really cool. A hard-boiled killer. You're interested now in making Control? Both are really good games. I might stream two at some point, I don't know. If it ever goes on sale, I'd play it. I just know no one like cares about it. I really liked them. <laughs> but true. Alan Lake 2 might be too intense? Nah. I like the first one a lot. They're putting on a damn show right now, by the way. They're kind of like... Ooh. <laughs> Sam Lake's up there. <laughs> they got the director up there. Imagine showing up to accept an award and you have to put on like a a dance number. <laughs> Man, he's doing it. He's killing it. Have you seen anything from this game? I've seen nothing. 
I've seen you play as two different characters. One's like a totally new character, but I love the first one. And I really like Control, because Control tied into Alan Wake. But I'm like, what the? I don't even know what it's about. I don't even know like why... What Alan's up to. I know it was like, it's not an ocean. Or no, it's not a lake. It's an ocean. I know that much, oh, wow. and they probably elaborated on that. Poets of the Fall performing in the role of old gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life, something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. Here's Silk Song. Hollow Knight Silk Song, right? I don't care about GTFO. I wish I cared about this game, but I got yelled at for, like, doing anything in it. So I lost interest. A family of strangers. A strange Isn't this maybe, like, the Payday devs or something? We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. I'll, I'll say this is Lethal Company we if Lethal Company had, like, gameplay. We are now as one. Except Until it doesn't have the fun... The end. Proximity chat, but it has a lot of like fun co-op stealth elements to it. My friend. You made too much noise and alerted the horde. That was the whole gameplay. It was always like, all right, guys, we got to sync up our shots. And I would like say something or do something stupid. Like I'd shoot a guy and everyone would be like, what the fuck? Why'd you shoot him? We're supposed to sync up our shots. Joining me now is Ulf from Ten Chambers. <laughs> Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free Get weekend on out Steam. Of there. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. Can we stop touching him? <laughs> you look good, too, Ulf. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. Kiss so, anyway, him. Uh, yeah, we're working on something new, Jeff and uh, it's like a passion project, <laughs> what like, was that? like all our projects are. You and delicious PA, man. Things like that, so you're back, yes. back to some heist stuff? I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. You delicious and, man. Yeah, it's, you know, it Should is what it is. we it to the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Here we go. Kiss him. Wait, is this not GTFO? What is this? They're... They have to... You gotta finish GTFO first. Reset the procedure. Continued neural prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Inject. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. I don't. Let's what is this? Huh. Is payday in the future? There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Gameplay. Oh. Yes! What's the key for? Oh, they got drilling into vaults. It's a payday like. What, Mr. Bowman? It's who? You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. Den of Wolves. I don't... Name with you would be cool. I... I hate video game trailers. I think I'm realizing. I just want to see the game. Oh, hi. Not actual gameplay footage. It's Markiplier. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, it's not him. I, th I thought it was Markiplier. <laughs> no, it's not him. It looked like him, dude. Oh, bye.
Am I crazy for thinking that looked like Markiplier? Is this the same game too? Is this a different game? Dude, he Fortnite battle passed. What is going on, man? We need a stylized game, please. Give me anything that isn't like gritty future. Easy out. That's our ride. Just give me something like with a cool art style, please. Just show me a trailer for like Plucky Squire. I don't know what is Exo Born. Master the Apocalypse. But I don't know, man. That was Exoborn. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical it looks like open Anthem. world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of The Division. And besides facing oh. other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the forces of nature, Man, he's unlocked dropping. the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse. He's There's dropping words that just... In 2024 I'm snoozed. He said tactical now, open world extraction shooter. Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. What is, I don't, what is Asgard's Wrath? Hey there. Hi, Matt. <laughs> I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team. That was the first one? Bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2, I forgot as who a he is, though. Gamer, He's the critical I'm role guy. He does voice acting as well. Away. So uh, I'm He's honored to be a part of this nails. franchise. Yeah, he was Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom. At Oculus Studios and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. He ain't even saying the name right. He said Asgard's. Last game. You can move the torch in VR. Bleed these lands dry. Thy spirits, their rightful passage. They're not gonna show gameplay for more than like two seconds. They're gonna show one clip of a guy going like this in first person. Cause it's VR. There it is. You allowed Loki to deceive you. That's all the gameplay we're getting. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. And with each possession. Dude, harp gameplay? Oh, that's a bow. Grow stronger. God, it's so hard to sell like a VR game. Oh, dutiful guardian. Here to right your wrongs. Yeah. Problem with VR games is there's like, I don't know, it's so hard to sell them because they're, they don't do anything new really. And all the concepts for them feel like they're 10 years old already. Like they don't really, Feels like most of them are like first person action games, but I don't want to do that no in VR. Oh my god, you can He Man! Your fate That's kind of cool. Asgard's Wrath. VR headsets are a big no for me. I like them. I played some fun VR games. I, I gotta get back into them. Foolish mortals, oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> I felt like it was supposed to be like a Spy Kids 3D. I was supposed it's to have my 3D glasses on. He'd pop out of my screen. Adaptations of the games we love. Right now, Foolish we have an mortal. exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. From the creator, Todd Howard. Oh. Hello there. Hello. Now how about we turn on some lights? Fall loud! Yes! Crawl out through the fallout, baby. 
I never saw the trailer for this. It's an Amazon Prime series on Fallout. Well, you know what they say. They got the dang ghouls. War never changes. They said it! Crawl out, throw that fallout. The song, there it is. From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. Also, the power suit guy. Am I going to talk about him? I can't see him. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us. And we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime from this Man. April. But our real honor tonight is that and we're going to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? Kill him. What, dude? Well, it says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> what, Todd Howard? Oh, here they are. Oh! Hey! <laughs> He's like, don't no, call no, my no, ass Mr. on this. Howard. Good catch, buddy. <laughs> Wait, why was he like? <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. <laughs> Todd did not look happy okay, to be called so out. This year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for best adaptation. Best adaptation. Todd wanted to show up to this and not be recognized at all. I will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is From gamer to racer. Gran Turismo. Is hope for the world. I don't know. Last of Us won. I don't, I don't care. Oh, Mario Brothers movie probably did. Good. Made a couple billion dollars. The world fell, but that's where the cars and guns come in. Wow, wow, wow. The best game goes to The Last of Us. I'm sorry, did he just did he say the best game goes to Last of Us? Hold up. Wow, wow, wow. The best game goes to... The last of He us. said the best game. <laughs> he said the best game goes to Last of Us. <laughs> he didn't give a shit, man. He doesn't even know why he's up there. All right. Oh, Last of Us won, by the way. Uh, okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Naughty Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot of uh, big Best thanks game, to our whatever, Last of Us community. Of us. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much. Thank you. Are we going to get an interesting video game besides Pony Island 2 announced tonight? They gotta be saving something. Like, it's probably either the Elden Ring DLC. Why is this song playing? Why did that song play? That was like an old... Why did I recognize that song? This is that, uh, Fortnite open world, like, crafting game. It looked good. It was like an MMO. I forgot what it was called. Pow World. No, this is a real video game. Pow World doesn't exist until it's out. Damn, that wolf just like disappeared into that tree. That's crazy. This is like... It's... I don't know what it's called. It's like... It literally is just like Pow World. Palia. Boom. Oh my god, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter. If we don't get Monster Hunter 6, I won't, won't be too mad. They got a Paolumu. They got a Kuluyaku. These guys are doing this with their phone. Diablos. The hunt starts now on your phones. 
No Monster Hunter 6. Sorry. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. I mean, it's evolved over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? Yeah. Hindsight is up. a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary. Bye. Is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Kissing mosquito making Whenever the music. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel. Yes, I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making people feel things. Make them cry. Yes. No Man's Sky 2. Dude, Sean Murray is about to show up. No way. Well, they have no reason to release No Man's Sky 2. They have spent like a decade just making it like the best game it could be. And I still never played it. I feel bad. My favorite thing about No Man's Sky is that they use the same trailer music for every single trailer. Like, from the beginning, they've used the same song. Every update has the same, like... It's this kind of vibe. I'm surprised they didn't use the same song here. Jesus, man, they've updated the hell out of this game. How many updates were there? That's right, we're going beyond. No Man's Sky. Oh. <laughs> it's coming out again. That right there was No Man's Sky. Oh, holy shit, it's Sean. announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But... What people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah, He's been pumping on something else. Very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. Sean? <laughs> Sean, this is dangerous. Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets, and that wasn't easy, you know, it was Sean. hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe. He made Minecraft. Something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high. He made Google taller Earth. Taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents you know you can see oceans so it's just like an open world planet kind of thing yeah i mean the first real open world right something without boundaries john uh, you gotta you gotta be careful here with those statements together. it's you know a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together that sentence well, right there, a world to, uh, without boundaries, is going to be like we quoted for years. Tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know. I trust him. Yeah, that's that's, that's his honest. little, that's it's his charm. Of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're. S that's how Sean uh, works. He shows up as like, this, You're not, this we're is the about this greatest thing years. you've ever seen. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if. You know, if people like it, this is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> oh. We'll be back. But no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project, and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. This Here is No go. Woman's Sky. A multiplayer Earth, goddammit. 
Sean, I'm scared, man. You can't be you can't show a fantasy earth. Sean, you made an MMO. Oh, there's a HUD on the screen. You can tell it's this is real gameplay. Sean, I'm having PTSD flashbacks here, buddy. <laughs> You're scaring me with this one. I'm a female rebel. It is woman sky. They got damn dragons? It is Fortnite. This scares me. I, I'm like scared. What has Sean created here? Yes, woman's ground. <laughs> What is that? This is not real. None of this is real. Bunnies? I can't stand they edited in this like fake ass HUD just to make it look like it's gameplay. Yes, man, Sky. Light, no fire. Okay. I will see that in five years and... Remember, that comes from Ooh. an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to it show that to It is the same you. logo. And, uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So, uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to... Uh, I don't think that's like real, that, that Sean. Kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right, now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. He's limping out. Dude showed up. Idris Elba. He had a broken foot. What's, What's your excuse? Up, everybody, how y'all doing tonight? Oh my God, there's so many of you. you. Guys, all look so so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. Ooh. I wish I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Uh -oh. Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. Um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, I should stretch. Just keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Frost Storm Giant? King. Now, RTS is a genre that I was yeah, absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conqueror, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. StarCraft 3? Yes! I'm so happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by yes, carriers the 12 and gamers that played at Starcraft. any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was Whoa. written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, Yes, How does Chris have I a, brought have a little bit of gameplay for y'all, and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Why is Chris Met look. Chris Messon's making like WoW now? He's like the head of WoW. How do you have time to do this? Oh, looks like Fortnite. I feel like we've seen this trailer already. Can't hear him, my friend. My God's name 
have we done? Why has everyone got a hair like that? How do you do your hair like that? Oh wait, I forgot it's like a StarCraft game. <laughs> Hell yeah, list your friends. Get crafting. No, this is not Clash Royale, this is StarCraft, a real man's game. And enters early access with a laggy logo in 2024. Fight, coward. Either way, your world will fall. Cool. Gamers love StarCraft. That was me. <laughs> Maybe we don't need more games. <laughs> See? Oh. Pretty good, right? <laughs> and uh, and now it's time <laughs> that was to the hand worst person to cut award. to. Here are the yeah. nominees for best action adventure game. Best action adventure game. I think we should pause video games for a year. Just write me out of this story. It's my fault. This is something else. Miles, get it off of him. Yeah, now we're entering the. We're gonna see these same five like for the rest. I think there's probably like three more awards. They're probably near the end. What award is this? Is this game of the year? Best action adventure game. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Award goes to. No surprise here. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Literally, no surprise here. Do you think we'll ever get DLC for Tears of the Kingdom? Or didn't they say they're not doing that? I can't remember. I'm so glad to be able to Thank be you. here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. <gasps> He's got the dang tunic on. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. They need a best Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. I would be so Thank nervous so to be much. a translator. Because I know in, in rooms like this, it's like really hard to hear what's going on. Like it's, it's really hard to tell what's being said because the, the echo Mr. and all like the and reverb because it's coming back at you and it sounds weird. A few weird. more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for best RPG. Baldur's Gate 3, Baldur's Final Gate Fantasy wins. 16, oh, Lies of P should... Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and Starfield. I don't consider Lies of P really like an RPG. It is, Baldur's but... Gate 3. Oh, well. Here are the nominees for best sim strategy game. Advanced Pick Wars 1 and 2 it. Reboot Camp, City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. Pikmin! And the game award goes to Pikmin 4. Ah! Here are the nominees for best sports racing game. EA Sports FC 24, Hot Wheels. F1 23, Forza Hot Motorsport, Wheels. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the game award goes Wheels. to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, ah. Kurt Tack. The nominees for best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Baldur's Diablo Gate, 4, won. Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Why is Lego Wonder. Fortnite a thing? It actually looks decent, but yeah, it is weird. Oh, no way. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award. 100% oh, no. voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 oh, no. Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to... Baldur's Gate Baldur's 3. Gate 3. There it is. Congratulations, Larian.
Let's take a look now at this spectacular you, celebration Genshin. of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung. No, I didn't ask for a celebration of mobile gaming. I'm sorry. They put it on the dang orb in LA. Why? Google, why? You could have just sent in a video. It'd be easier to watch than this. You spent like a hundred grand on this. Why? They broke the orb. They broke. Oh, they're in the real world now. Wow. Why did she just shoot the cameraman? What is, what am I, what is this? Cool. <laughs> I don't know Guilty Gear Strive, but I love the music in it. It's so like intense. Little bold to uh, follow the Clash of Clans kid friendly thing with bullshit <laughs> makes you crazy. <laughs> what is her name? Elf, 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 Elf Valentine? Wait, I like her. Is she baby metal? She just talking as she kills people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not like a fighting game person. I do love that that guy's name is Soul Bad Guy. What a cool name. Three player! Legos? What is this? Stress meter. Stress City 4. This isn't real. This is nicotine. I... They're making the games look good in the nicotine commercials! You can't do that! You can't make the anti-vape ad look good. That's not the point. <laughs> You're making it look appealing. Somatica? No, this is Arc 2 with Vin Diesel. I gotta escape from... What's the video game? Oh, okay. <laughs> they just said, play now. What thing is this? Alright, welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to hand out. Is Timothy she dating Chalamet anyone? will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. Borderlands 4. Nope. This sounds familiar. Someone's come to my attention. Never mind. And I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Oh, sort of DLC. Very cool. Is in Timothy Chalamet in Liza P? No. It seems somebody's He's supposed to show up tonight. Up. He's going to promote Wonka. The question is, no. Wait, did they actually... Was there a character smoking? I didn't see it. That's so funny. What the hell is an they followed up the anti-smoking ad with a smoking what person. You're about to find out. <laughs> Yikes. Not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. What is this? What Final Fantasy 16 looks like? Welcome, my friends, to Mercidia. This just like stresses me out because I know that's like some giant open world you have to explore.
I've never understood Final Fantasy. I feel weird. Like, 15 and 16 stress me out just looking at them. They just look like way too big. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Now to present our next award, Best Game Direction, please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the I creator do. of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. Vince Sampella, it's the guy. All right, Titanfall 3, right? Vince, Vince, don't let us down. Wait, no, he's just here to... All right, good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. He's just talking about game Actually, design. He's not announcing that. anything. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on Where's huge gone, open though? worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Titanfall 3. Best Game Direction. North, South, East, and West. It's Baldur's Gate 3, we already know. Actually, no, they, they gotta throw another one to Alan Wake 2 so Baldur's Gate 3 can win Game of the Year. Or, Spider-Man 2 wins. It's crazy that, like, Amazing. Nintendo released Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Wonder, and they're not, like, sweeping this year. Alan Wake 2! It's crazy. What a, like, interesting year for games. Where, like, Tears of the Kingdom blew everyone's mind, and then Alan Wake 2 just showed up, and Baldur's Gate 3 showed up. And I didn't play either of those, so I don't really know how they went <laughs> thank you uh, we want to thank epic epic Hector, games for believing in our vision actually epic games is the uh, reason that game's crazy. not really been like selling well. <laughs> crazy vision, i didn't even yes. realize it was it wasn't on steam it's on epic <laughs> without a team to actually build it and and huge epic thanks games. to remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe, believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles. We can make art. They're going to play the music. This guy's not even going to get to talk. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing. Uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. Oh. <laughs> New story content. Uh, so, yeah, go play it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Game Awards. <laughs> My brain went like, I thought he was going to like shout out his Twitch channel or something. He's like, hey, next week uh, I'll be streaming a game on Twitch. Check me out on my YouTube channel, too. <laughs> He's going to like shout himself out. Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of The Finals. Ah, The Finals. I don't... I haven't played this one. Apparently it's good. But I don't really care. When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, the finals. it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, it, and enjoy. It's, it's like out, isn't it? 
Pony, I win too. I I've seen people playing this already. It's like out. Am I crazy? Man, they're doing an awful job selling this. This is like original Battlefield, kind of. It has a lot of like destructibility and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not into it anymore. It's like 3v3v3v3 3v3 3v3 or something. Oh, Squid Games! What are we gonna play after this? I would be playing Go to Bed, probably. I wanna watch the Pony Island 2 trailer again because I don't think I fully processed it. Alien cosmetic you can buy. I heard that they used like AI voice acting for the announcer lines for this. And people got really upset about it. But they already showed that part. The animation and models in Pony Island 2 are very inscription-like. I mean, I imagine it's, it's probably him taking the, the 3D work he did in Pony Island, or sorry, in uh, Inscription and like combining that with his sprite work as well. It was That's funny because right, when he first showed... Is out tonight on oh, Steam, it's out. Xbox Series cool. X and S and PlayStation 5. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their no. favorite user-created no island of Don't the year. Scan and the winner You'll... is Fort Who. Congratulations. What? You portal to the winning island from our TGA map. And while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter XP Griffin boost. skins. The Ooh. island code is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year featuring our, our orchestral salute to the nominees. We got anything else to show, Jeff? Oh, good. Fortnite. Did I say there'd be three trailers for Fortnite? I did not lie. Um, but when when Daniel Mullins like first was teasing his next project, I in the back of my mind I'm like, this looks like Pony Island, in a way, and I didn't want to say it, but I've I've been like secretly thinking to myself like, it, I think he's working on it, and I, that's why I was like predicting, I was guessing, and I'm happy it, it's true. I also can't believe- I still can't believe that I made a joke about it and, and like two days later he's like, oh, by the way, it's real. Baldur's Gate 3. No, they're totally turning Roblox or Fortnite into Roblox. You can fuck the squid? Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. Oh my god, is that Baldur's Gate? All these 10 out of 10s. Baldur's Gate 3. You can bang the bear. And the squid. Pre-order today. Oh, good. It's uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I feel like I've seen this trailer three times at this point. Am I insane? I feel like we've seen a open world crafting game where you build huts and stuff and you also swing sticks. Bell right. Oh, <gasps> Sydney's back. You've been voting on Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA post show on Twitch where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More award. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Thanks Neat. Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. Oh no. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. And I thought this they said one, they weren't doing world premieres. Let's speak for itself. Oh god, he's got something death straining too. Oh no, it's something it's something big. It's uh It's a Star War. Oh, it's Vin Diesel. Ark Survival Evolved 2. 
No, it's Monster Hunter 6. Holy shit. It's Monster Hunter 6. It's Monster Hunter 6. Yes! I didn't think we'd be getting this. Dude, I've been waiting for this. I am so excited for this. Apparently it comes out in like three months too. It's supposed to come out in March. I'm the only person here right now excited for this. I like... I loved Monster Hunter World. I liked Rise a little bit, but like Monster Hunter... Oh, they got the dang creature again. You can ride the thingy. Capcom presents Monster Hunter World 2. World premiere. Wild. Okay. Yeah, apparently this is being made by the, um, the Monster Hunter World team, which means it's good. I can't wait for this. Cool. Oh. Wait, Capcom, you said you were you were going to release something by March 2024 that was going to be a banger. What are you releasing? Please welcome to the stage Monster if Hunter If not that, series what are you producer, releasing? Ryozo Tujimoto, it's so great to have you here. 2025? We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game. And wow, Capcom. I got to tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? What, what do you think, Jeff? 2025, he said. Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title, back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Wow. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this? Well, game? the 20th anniversary or whatever it comes out. Uh, in March, right? They're probably going to show it in like three more months in March. That's pretty cool, though. I'm glad they announced it. We plan on revealing more information about this game in uh, the summer of 2024, so we hope you keep an eye out for it. Also, Capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary. I would like to thank all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these cool. years. We couldn't have done it without you. Capcom will continue to create exciting, fun games, uh, and the best is yet to come. You got like a bird thank mode you, in Monster thank Hunter Wilds. You. So you go, right. ah, you can well, fly your little bird. Game of the year from the upcoming Here's films. Timothy Wonka Chalamet. June Part Two. Please welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. What? YouTuber? Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> YouTuber modded controller 360? The uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the game of the year. Is Timothy Chalamet British? He's not, right? Here with a medley celebrating each of these games, once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. Oh, Flute Guy's gonna go crazy. They're gonna they're gonna make sure you focus on him. He's gonna be dead center. There he is on the right, there he is! <laughs> Flu guy going crazy. I know is he American? I don't know what Timothy Chalamet is where he's from. Am I gonna get canceled for that? I thought he was British. There flu guy, he's right there. Little man. Man, I didn't play anything. <laughs> I feel like Jeff sapped my energy. He's like a little leech. He's an energy vampire. He's been sitting there telling you about game awards. Oh, cool. Thank you for letting me read the, the music. 
Was that called the Jeff Medley? Or the Goaty Medley? Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. I need to play Mario Wonder. I think I need to use my little, like, voucher from Nintendo. Oh, he's prepping. He's charging up a new flute. Blue guy's charging up a new flute. No flutes in Resident Evil. Just you wait till Tears of the Kingdom. He's about to go crazy. <laughs> Here he goes. They really didn't focus on Flute Guy this year, did they? I get it's an orchestra, it'd be kind of weird. Never mind, they focused on him. Oh shit, he oh shit, did you see what he grabbed? <laughs> He's got the doohickey! <laughs> He's playing it! He cut the doohickey out! <laughs> I can't even hear it! What's it? What's it? What, what's the... <laughs> I don't know. Is he even playing it? <laughs> Did Pizza Tower get an award? Sadly, no. Without the doohickey. <laughs> what was that instrument? That thing was huge. And the game of the year is. Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, way. Dude, the armor guy, we get to see him. Yes. He prepared for this moment. And he's going to get up there and be like, I'm protected. If anyone wants to get on the stage, if you want to fight me, I'll kill you. Here we go. We got to watch for the kid. Watch for the kid. This is the security moment. This is the moment the security guards have been waiting for. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank over hey. 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire <laughs> So he's uh, not going to nominate Bill Clinton. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners. Uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope Jeff doesn't make a joke about how cleanly they got through that. Don't ruin the moment, Jeff. Yeah, everyone knew that was going to happen, though. Everyone knew Baldur's Gate was winning that. Congratulations, Ben, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary game awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th, 2024. Be there. Happy holidays. Good night. Hell yeah. Jeff made it through a seamless. No Bill Clintons. Beautiful. What a... That was, there was just like nothing. I'm going... Wait, there's not more, right? There's like nothing more? I don't care. I'm going back to Daniel Mullins. Where is he?
I gotta see this trailer again. That was like crazy. They showed up to the Game Awards with friggin'. I didn't even process the Pony Island 2 trailer. I gotta watch it. Three world premieres in a row. What? First up. Mullins dropped the trailer in the channel? What do you mean? Wait. Wait, did someone drop the trailer itself? Oh, his YouTube channel. Ah, yes, I can. Next game. Uh, Daniel Mullins. I can leave a comment. I can be the guy. Where is it, Daniel Mullins? Pony Island 2. Wait, does he have a channel or this one? Like the official guys? Is Blushy! <laughs> it's Caron's boat. I think it is, yeah. I was looking for the coin. I think Daniel showed off the coin at some point. The gameplay stuff is what I want to look at, though. Like, I didn't even process it. I was too busy freaking out. Because at, at this point, when I, the second I saw ponies, I was like, Pony Island 2. <laughs> we got hunger, we got thirst. It's gaming. Terrain wrote, what am I looking at? Pony, day 11. Is this like a survival game? What is it? The Panda Circus. Those pandas died so painfully. Why was I spared? They got the programming. Dude, they got the dang programming. It seems closer to the Hex than Pony Island, honestly. I mean, this bit right here is like straight up from Pony Island because they had all those programming bits. I wonder if it's going to be like... There was a game that was very much just like a programming game. I can't remember. It was made by Double Fine. But you would like interact with objects. You could open up their, their code and like mess with what they did in the world. I can't remember the game, but it was really cool. It reminds me of this. Because you can, you can see he's like opened up a cannon here. You can change the behaviors of everything. It honestly might be that. Script. Are we writing scripts? Yeah, that's definitely pro ZD. <laughs> King Yawn. Wait a second. Oh, ARG. We gotta go frame by frame. Warning, changing options related to core files may permanently damage the system. Do not make changes related to the core. Dude, it's binary. If you translate the binary on this screen, it actually says PonyIsland2.com. <laughs> it probably does say something. I don't know what the binary says here. Honestly, I might just try and translate it later. I bet it says something. You yaks me. There's more binary there. Translate. Oh, it's the devil. Never mind. It's not. It's Satan. It's our boy. He's in. This looks interesting to me. I don't. I don't even know how to like comment on this. This game is like a. There's so much. This is a MOBA. This is a MOBA. <laughs> Wait, th this is just straight up a MOBA mode. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, because you have your abilities and everything. Uh, I don't know what this is. Do you see what I meant about the hex? Oh, the fact that it's like just different gameplay styles? Yeah. This, too. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. With the whole bow thing? You got a USB bow? Going back. This feels like an amalgam of everything Daniel Mullins has made up to this point. He just makes weird games, and I'm all for it. This is the thing he shared on, the, uh, on his Twitter. He shared, like, this sprite, and he's like, No one will guess what this is about, right? Turns out, no one guessed it. 
Did it even say a date? Oh, 2025 or 6. Which one is it? He didn't want to commit to the date. Could be, oh, could be 4. Could be anything. <laughs> well, interesting. Here, I'll leave my, my no way comment on here. Uh, never mind. I don't need that. Do you want to watch the self-aware game mechanics? I'll throw up if it's as far as 2026. I'm guessing 2025 is probably when we get it. But either way, that's like the, the main takeaway for me, and I'm so interested in that. That's really neat. I don't even know like what else other games there are. I can't even remember. That was it, like every time I watch this, I'm like just overwhelmed. There's too many video games, and it sucks. There's just like way too many. But... Um, I, I do like watching the award show. It's at least fun. How do I hide that? Oop. How do I go over here? Ooh. Hello. Ah. I have to pee so badly. I haven't gone to the bathroom at all. I've had to go for a long time. <laughs> but, um, can I pull up the World of Goo 2 trailer? I don't wanna. It looked fun, though. World of Goo 2 was another announcement that I, I like to see. I really need to go. Urinary tract infection. <laughs> Game Awards is always fun. I liked it. I had fun with it. Although the trailers are generic and I've, I've already forgotten like every game that was shown. See you all in two years when Pony Island 2 comes out and Flimbons wakes up from hibernation. <laughs> I will ascend. I want to go translate some binary. See if that says anything. I doubt it, but who knows? Um, but yeah, this was very, very fun. A little boring, but yeah, it's how it goes. Pony to Island 2 ARG video win. Yeah, just keep asking me for years. I'll eventually make it. I would hate to be, I wouldn't hate. I feel like it's, it'd be very stressful to be like in that position where people are just demanding like, like, he releases this, right? Like, Pony Island 2? He releases it and people are like, where's the ARG? You gotta have an ARG. That's probably, like, super stressful. I don't know. I hope there's stuff in it, because I, I love that kind of things. But... Your video about the Pony Island ARG was pretty well-timed. I literally said in the Hex video, like, It's a joke about Pony Island 2, Panda Circus. A game that, I don't know, we might see it. We may or may not ever see that. And then two days later, it gets announced. That's so funny. Hopefully the, that video gets some traction because of that, because that'd be really funny. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Wait, you released the Hex video? Yeah! I put the Hex video out two days ago. I sat down and, and actually did it, and it's, it's done. It's very good. Or, I don't like saying that. <laughs> that was dumb. It was a good time making it. I don't know if it's good, but... I had a good time making it. It's a lot better than it was two years ago. I'm very happy about that. YouTube trolled you? Ah. You think Pizza Tower was robbed? Are you fine with Cocoon winning? Um, I would have rather had Cocoon win best indie. Because I, I still don't like, I feel weird. Like, who made Cocoon the game? Who made Cocoon game? Geometric Interactive, which is a studio that is is new, right? But Geometric Interactive, I believe the guy heading it, I need to fact check myself here, but I'm pretty sure the guy heading it is the guy who made Inside in Limbo. So it's not like their first game. I'm just, I mean, like what did Pizza Tower dev make before? Nothing? Pizza Tower just showed up and it was amazing. I still think it deserves something, and I thought it was kind of lame for, especially for like Mick Pig, who probably wants to stay anonymous. Just like them casually cutting to him was very weird, I thought. <laughs> but I, I wish they, they gave them an award. That would have been nice. <laughs> but I am going to go. I'll be back. We're going to do What the Dub tomorrow. I want to do custom What the Dub, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. 
I'll probably get copyright claimed, but I've got to, I'm going to keep a watchful eye on that to make sure we're not getting taken down. And we'll probably do some Gardic phone too, but I want to do like a community night. But, um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. This was fun, as always. Appreciate y'all hanging out and, and watching the Game Awards. It was a good time. But y'all have a good rest of your night or your morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.